going on, Internet? I am Vinny Everyman, and this is Everyman Hybrid. We're here to show you that you don't need those ridiculously expensive gym passes and harsh regimens to maintain a healthier, happier lifestyle. We want to show you that there's sort of a yin and yang between mental and physical health. So, we decided why not make a video blog. We're hoping that we can put one or two out every week or so, and we'd love to hear from you if you have comments or questions. You can reach us at twitter.com backslash everymanhybrid or everymanhybrid at gmail.com. How's it going, Interweb? Today, we are going to show you the importance of jogging and stretching. Now, most of you go, I know how to jog, and hell, I know how to stretch. But we're going to show you how jogging can be both exercise and relaxing at the same time. We're going to do what I like to call the sunset jog. It's where you go to the nicest spot in the park you can find, jog until the sun sets, come home, take a nice jacuzzi, and then stretch. Hey guys, what's up? Just got back from my uh, evening jog. It was beautiful. I got to watch the sunset by the lake. Now, a little word of advice if you're going to take a, you know, a nighttime jog is you want to go a little bit before sunset and you want to make sure it's a brisk jog because if you go, if you exert too much energy, you'll be too um, energetic basically for the rest of the night. You won't be able to sleep. Also, a good idea is to after your jog, you might want to take a hot jacuzzi. What happens is when you take a jacuzzi, the temperature actually raises your body heat. That releases antibodies, and your antibodies actually heal your muscles. Hey guys, um, we are coming to you after this uh, nighttime jog that Vince was just having, and uh, I thought that this would be a good opportunity to talk to you guys about yoga. Now, um, yoga, yeah, it sounds like a chick thing, but it's actually not. It's really helpful for your muscles. So, let's say, for example, um, you were just running like Vince was just doing. What you want to do is make sure that you're stretching out your legs, okay? And though this isn't necessarily yoga, it's still stretching, it's still important. So what you can do is grab your foot like this and kind of pull on it. Count to about 15, just about 15 seconds, you know, one Mississippi two. And that'll stretch out your, um, your thighs right here. And that's going to help out because that's what you're using for running. Stretch out each leg evenly. And now another one that you can use for your legs is called a downward dog stretch. I'll show you what that looks like right here on my yoga mat. Good thing for the calves. You want to go down on your hands and knees and go up on your toes. Try to push the heel of your foot towards the floor. All right? So you're kind of going up. Push it towards the floor. Switch your feet. Start pushing that. Go into almost like a mountain climber stretch. You can do, or you can do both feet at the same time. I like to do one at a time because then you know that you're stretching it real good. All right? So that's a downward dog stretch. Now, 
Let's say you were doing other muscles. Let's say you weren't just jogging. Maybe you were lifting. Maybe you were doing some cardio, hitting a bag, something like that. Maybe you were doing some crunches, working your abs. Here's a good ab one. After you guys are done your crunches, after and not before, you're done uh, using all your muscles, crunching hard. And what you want to do is you want to lie on your belly, push straight up. Uh, into, this is called a cobra stretch. Other people call this a downward dog stretch, but those people are stupid. Because this looks more like a cobra than a dog. So, what that does is it stretches out the muscles that you just worked. So not only will you get a rock hard, beautiful stomach, but it'll also be real flexible so you can do that. In case you guys need to do that at all, or wiggle or break dance, you know, in case you need to do that kind of shit. No. Alright, so, I haven't hinted at it before with the keyword after. Stretching too much beforehand actually weakens your muscles and makes it harder to complete the task at hand. So if you were going to lift, you don't want to do an intense arm stretch. If you were going to do ab work, you don't want to do the cobra stretch before your workout. While it is good to do a light stretch just to make everything limber up so you are able to do the workout, keep the yoga and stuff strictly after. Well, here we are in the cookies, 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 and cookies aisle of uh, our local supermarket. And uh, the reason we're here is I wanted to show you guys exactly what you shouldn't be eating. I like you. I like you. This you really shouldn't eat. It's What's going on, Internet? This is Vinny Everyman, and today we're going to talk about dreams and how junk food can actually affect your dreams. All right, so... Basically what we have here, Chips Ahoy, um, Nutter Butters, all that kind of stuff. Um, Big Newton's actually not so bad, but eh, not really my favorite. Oreos, boy, that's fun. Um, I know these are awesome and they're delicious, but you really got to watch out. You really shouldn't be eating this. There's a lot of other snack foods that you can eat that aren't horrible for you. We're going to show you that next. Alright, so here's our first example of actually good food that is uh, good for you and actually tastes pretty good. So here we go, we got a different assortment of nuts, um, dried fruit like pineapple, mango, uh, cranberries, cherries, apricots, all kinds of stuff here. Now what you can do with all this, you can make a real nice trail mix. And uh, basically you have a lot of good foods in one little thing that's not only good for you, but it, it's like fun to eat. Like you know how you're sitting in front of the TV, you don't necessarily want to eat something, you just kind of want to nosh on chips and stuff. Bam, you got trail mix, that's better substitute, as you could say. Plus, we got all kinds of things over here. Cookies, uh, chips, all kinds of crap. Um, that doesn't look very good. But all this stuff, you know what I mean? Hey, hit this stuff up. Instead, instead of the horrible, saturated fat crap that you guys eat in the chips aisle, try this stuff out. Now, be careful. Just because it says natural doesn't mean that you should just go crazy with it and just eat as much as you want, alright? It's still food. It still make you fat if you eat a shitload of it, so watch yourself. But, keep this stuff in mind. So, unbeknownst to a lot of people, um, food actually has a great impact on not only your, your physical health, but also your sleep habits, and uh, dreams for that matter. Like take for example, you eat this huge, awesome, greasy pizza covered in all kinds of meat and deliciousness, um, and after you eat it, you go straight to bed. Horrible idea. Because not only do you wake up later, you know, with a horrible stomach ache, but you also will probably have some weird, weird ass dreams, which won't help you sleep at all. Um, uh, this happens mostly because I think your body's a little bit freaked out at what you just ate. But yeah, so you want to try to stay away from junk foods and, and bad foods right before you go to sleep because it never, it's never a very good combo. Now also on the, the topic of dreams, not only food but also stress, outside sources, pretty much anything can affect what you dream about. Like just last week I had midterms and I was stressing out so much that I had dreams that I was running through the woods in my old elementary school and it felt like something was following me. You know, that could have been a manifestation of the stress levels I've been feeling at school. It could have been a lot of things. So, not only do you have to worry about the foods, but also try to keep yourself as stress-free as possible before you hit the sack every night. What about you, man? You have any recurring dreams lately? What? Never mind. How's it going today, Internet? Um, today we're going to go over cardio. We're going to teach you that cardio doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be just running and biking. It can be anything and everything that you can do outside that gets your heart pumping. Also, we're going to show you a couple alternatives to running. 
um, just in case you have bad knees, that are very helpful and will keep you going. As we have stressed from the get-go, not having money is not a valid excuse to not get up, get out, and get that heart rate going. Summer's right around the corner, and you can do many outside routines, including swimming, uh, biking, car pushes, fireman carries, pretty much anything you can do outside to get your heart rate up is good, and we will show you some of these. Evan, got anything to add to this list? Guess not. Anyway. What the, the fireman carry? <laughs> Let's say you can't get outside, right? And you still want to run. This is your old faithful right here, the treadmill. Now, most people use it whether they have a time constraint or the weather's just terrible. Now let's say you have bad knees or a bad back. That's when you want to go for a low impact machine like the elliptical. Now the ellipticals are very good. Sometimes they have a better workout than the, um, the treadmills. The only downside is they're a little bit pricier. These bad boys, the treadmills, can run anywhere from $50 at your local garage sale to no more than $700 if you go for the big boys. The elliptical's base price is usually about $150 to $200 for an ancient guy like this. So depending on your needs and depending on your price point, you pick one or the other. There's no need for both though. This is car pushing! Now this is car pushing. Yeah. You want to do it either with a partner, like I have over here, or you can do it by yourself. You want to do it for about a quarter of a mile at a time, but always make sure you have someone steering and having the brake controls. Just because you don't want a uh, car neutral going out of control on it. Alright. So that kind of concludes this episode. And uh, we went over some basic cardio. We did some good stuff, I think. Is there anything else you want to add on the list? Or are we good? Um, no, I think we're pretty good. Alright, so remember biking, swimming. Car pushing, rock climbing, anything you can do to get your heart rate up. All things you can do right here in the Great Outdoors. Exactly. And then you also got a souvenir nobody. from today. What? You even got a souvenir today. Oh yeah, show, show me your souvenir real quick. Yeah, so a little girl runs up to me today and uh, she says that a man told me, told her to give me this. Evan's got a secret. kind of interesting. He's got a secret admirer. We made a I've profit. Seen. Yeah, we did. <laughs> America. I thought you were gonna be a sick. Hola hybrids, what's going on? Today we're gonna to talk about upper body strength and exercise that you can use with minimal weights or equipment to get them done right. Also we're gonna talk about those awesome flex machines that cost way less than a monthly uh, fee to the gym and will get you many exercises out of them and many months of use. What you're gonna to wanna to do to work your upper body, which includes your traps, your chest, uh, biceps, triceps, forearms, is you're going to want to use these bad boys. These are also known as the dumbbells. Now most people think that these are only useful for curls, doing the fly push-ups, stuff like that. But the truth is you can actually use them for almost any exercise you would need to do for your upper body. For example, if you're working your traps or your shoulders, you can do the shoulder press. All you do is you bring your shoulders up, hold them for a second, bring them back down to the starting position. Up, hold them for a second, bring them back down. Also, if you feel more comfortable, you can hold them like this. This actually maximizes your workout, so if you want to do it this way, much better idea. Also, to work that area, you can do shoulder shrugs. Most people will tell you when you're doing shoulder shrugs, you're going to want to go up and around. That really doesn't do anything. It just kind of makes you look like a tool in the gym. So what you're going to want to do is extend your arms fully. Make sure you have the weights in your hands, obviously, and just lift up. Bring your shoulders as high as you can. Bring them down. Up. Bring them down. Now, my personal trainer actually told me that what you want to do is reach for the ears. So get as high as you can to the ears and just bring it down.
And now, my friends, for an old-time favorite, the curls. Most people, for some reason, start their curls down here and bring them all the way up. And not only that, but they go at a fast rate. Now, really, curls are all about the resistance, being able to hold yourself. So what you're going to want to do is you want to start about here and bring your arms up slowly, bring them down slowly. Simple as that. And depending on your weight, you want to do either 8 to 12 reps, depending on what you feel comfortable, and three sets of those. Now, again, it's very important you go slowly. You bring them down to the starting position every time, and you bring them all the way up every time. Oh no, Evan, you know what happens? My muscles exploded and blew the power, you know what that means? Oh no, I'm getting to each other! I'll get the life, Alright, bro. Ah. Well, that's the first time every single bulb in my basement blew out at once. Sun's got to bend a peas, my brother. Sorry, boys. Yeah, let's come to Evan's house and film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. As, as anyway, we were, as, as we were saying, aside from the free weights, these, uh, no-name flex machines also help a lot. Not only do they have many assortments of um, exercises, they actually come with books that have a plethora of exercises. That's right. They have chest raises to, uh, you know, arm raises, everything you could need is in this book. What in the hell? Nice. nice. So, um, let's talk price with this thing. Um, you guys may think that these would uh, run you uh, somewhere between the range of like Five hundred to to thirty thousand dollars, but as a matter of fact, these are relatively inexpensive. Well, some of them compared compared to gym passes, which can be anywhere from fifty to seventy dollars, depending on you know your price point. Yeah, and um, I mean if you think about it, um, uh, this is probably one of the more cheaper ones, which is the ones that you want to go for because there are some expensive ones which are worse than that. Yeah. But uh, you get the cheaper ones. This one I got for under two hundred dollars. So uh, if you think about it, three months with a seventy dollar um, fee for a gym, well that's already above two hundred dollars. But this baby, since it's under two hundred dollars and it has just about as much things as you can get from a gym, then uh, that's a pretty good investment for you to have. Um, it's uh, definitely uh, something that you guys should. Not not only that, but um, they're a lot easier to maintain than you might think because some people go two hundred dollars for a machine. It's probably not gonna last that long. Honestly. These babies are built like tanks. It'll last for as long as you need it, as long as you keep it maintained, and keep it in uh, in check, and you're golden. Ah! Hey, Vinny. You look like you're missing something. What am I missing, dude? Atmosphere. What do you mean? You see, kids, very important part of working out. You see, what music does is it keeps you focused, keeps you ready to roll. Some people like heavy, some people like soft. Um, I, for one, am a fan of Motorhead. Check it out. Now, I think I believe I got... <laughs> that wasn't Motorhead. That was something else. Um, my thing's probably on the fritz. It's been broken for a while. But what you guys want to think about is music that gets you uh, pumped and gets you wanting to work out for a while, not just for really quick. All right, recap, guys. Today we talked about the importance of upper body. We went through a couple workouts, um, a couple easy routines. We talked about how the flex machine is more affordable and actually more useful than some gym memberships because they cost ridiculous amounts of money. Also, we went over the fact that music can get you pumped, get you ready, and help you work out, work faster, work harder, work stronger. Okay. Have a good one, guys. We need to all know. That's it. Do we really get along with this? I mean, I want to, but we need to figure out who put it in Evan's house. Yeah. Alright, so Evan, th there is kind of a plus side to all this Slender Man breaking into your house business. I mean, whatever, Nick did or yeah. whatever. I mean, think about it. Nick had a pretty good suit on. You, you gotta admit that. I mean, sure he broke into your house and took it too far, but we could we could use that. <laughs> Us, the king of pranks, but this this really took it too far, I think. His his parents are in there. Yeah. And not only that, but they didn't stick around and be like, "Oh, we got you. Here's the unknown." That's what that's, that's what yeah. irritates me. Like, like, okay, yeah, you're in my ass. Yeah. Now At least on. own up to it. Yeah. But I think Nick, maybe. I don't know, dude. He's not that bright. I mean, yeah, you know, he likes to joke. Yeah, he's <laughs> exactly. not that bright. But he's not that bright, so he wouldn't know to be like, oh, here I am, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I just know it's not The only thing that gets me, the only thing that really gets me is where did he go?
Yeah, yeah, golly, good for him. Thanks. Yeah, let's let's write him a little note uh, that says, "Hey, bro, thanks for being Slender Man. Thanks for giving us this awesome footage." But um, I would just like to add a P.S. That's like, how did he how did he get out of the room? It's a second story window. I just know it's all sitting left hand, dude. I don't know. I mean, can you really blame me? I mean, I understand. He's been acting a little weird. Even before that, you know? <laughs> oh well. You alright, man? Let's get the show on the road. You ready, Ev? Let's get to filming. If he ever breaks into my house again, I'll cut off his legs and shove him down his throat. Yeah, I know, I know. We should use it though, it was pretty sick. It was pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Hi guys, you know me, I am Evan. I'm Jeff. We're here today to take some thunder away from that usual host, Vinny. He's getting a little ugly, we're going to take a little FaceTime away from him. Yeah. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a more in-depth conversation and discussion about good foods and what you can use to, you know, complement your daily diets and replace the crappy junk food that we are so dear about in our uh, college age. Yeah, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, first we're going to start with the garbanzo beans, also called chickpeas if you can't find them in your local store. Alright guys, next we got to pick the good lettuce for the salad. I mean, personally I like more of the crunchy kind, but it's really up to you guys. We like to get it fresh and locally instead of the bag stuff, but it's really up to you in the end. Alright guys, the next thing you want to look for is uh, corn. So you can either get fresh corn, but even though that's not always available, the seasons change, you know, and it doesn't really get that good. So you can look for is, is canned corn like this, like this. But what you really want to look for is the mixers, like so. Because uh, this Southwest style corn, it has, um, you know, black beans, onions, red peppers, all kinds of good stuff in it, where it just adds a little bit more to the salad. The next step, of course, for our chicken salad is chicken. chicken. So. We have ourselves some packaged chicken here. What you want to look out for is not uh, pre-packaged, like freeze-dried stuff. You guys want to stay away from any of that breaded stuff. No good. You want to look for this. Nice, meaty goodness. When you're done with that, you might want to look for some sort of Southwest marinade, just to you know give that extra big flavor for the Santa Fe style we're going for. You should be set. All right, now we got all our stuff. We're ready to make our salad. We're going to head out. More best Mutual. friends, sister. Oh, yeah. uh, did you see that? Is that Dave in the backseat of Adam's car, dude? Yeah, what? Do you see that? I think he's trying to scare Evan. No lie. Who was the one? Was that one? Where's your day? All right, fellas. Campfire time. I mean, let's just get a little yeah. bit more slender. Well, right Wait, Adam. Second story, dude. It's Daniel. You guys ready to slender shoot? Yeah, but where's the tie? I left it in the car. Where's the mask? In the car. What do you mean, man? I left it in the car. Alright. Get it. The fucking door. Open it. Shit. Alright, ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, got the light. Alright, who is it? We got you. Yo, F, do you, do you see anything? No. <laughs> nothing, man. Is there anybody nothing. in there? No. Dude, are you serious? What the fuck? Where? What? Well, where the fuck did you go? We, we all saw it, right?
right, guys, so pretty sure by now you've caught on to our whole shtick. We we are doing the health food thing, obviously, but also we had a little bit of our sick, morbid humor um, with our little visitor. Uh, but recently, there's been some situation that Jeff's gonna kind of take over from here. All right, so we're not we're not done. There's no way we're done. We're just getting started, actually. But we're gonna be on a brief break for a little bit. I mean, it's probably gonna be about another week until our next video. We'll keep you guys updated on Twitter, but we're not don't expect another video anytime remotely soon. Yeah, and we feel that we, we need to take this break just because, you know, the severity. Someone broke into Evan's house pretending to be, you know, our, our Slenderman character. Um, and we're not going to go into details with where our Slenderman and his end, you know, ours ends and his begins, but let's just say that not all of them are ours. Um, and that kind of worries us. So um, we kind of have a, a deal on the table for you that Jeff's going to lay out, I guess. I mean, it's Evan's house. Go for it, man. Um, <clears throat> all right, here's here's the deal. Um, if whoever you are, if you come out and just tell us, okay, I'm sorry, it was me, my bad, then there will be no repercussions. Okay, fine, just don't do it again. Water under the bridge. Um, however, if you continue to hide who you are, and if you do it again, and we get you, we catch you, then there's going to be some very, very negative repercussions. So, if I were you, I would definitely just come out, tell us who you are, and apologize for it. Before this gets any worse than it has to be. That's all we gotta say, guys. Alright, till later, Harvest. Keep you updated. Hey guys, we're back, and we got a couple new people with us today. It's my girlfriend Jessa. You guys know that ugly guy. It's Ryan, my brother Alex, and we're just taking it easy this week. We're just gonna take a walk through the woods, basically. And you can't forget my beautiful face. Let's get to it. Because I'm really slow. <laughs> no worries. I walked for 10 miles, I got the five and he goes, where'd you say you walked for? I was like, did I go down? I went down here, she goes, you are a champ. Sweet. Oh, man. Love you, Crazy. Oh, wow. See if you can find copper and sell it. Evan, if there was a girl version of you, I would date you. <laughs> what? He just Dun -dun. locked it out. Oh, so you feel the nice! <laughs> they are the coolest people I know. You don't really have much of a choice now, you're on national TV. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let's see how I'm just... International. Oh, scorpion out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me grab the, all those snakes that are now. I'll have a nice refreshing. <laughs> and there you go, folks. The amazing Evan. Oh. What is that? Coffee cup. 
No, just imagine spiders. Some bromance going on. Video, let's get a just a gauge the, the size. Just it's just look at man, check it out. Even over there. Like look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? Just double teamed it. Double tugged. <laughs> and um, so far, so good. Got the strike. Yeah, a couple of laggers, but that's okay. Evan seemed to make it pretty, pretty good. Uh, Evan's being Evan. Um, but I think we're doing pretty good so far. Let's go. How was it? Pretty good. Sure. <laughs> Alright, we got everyone? Evan. 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 Dude, come on. <laughs> he just trust you away. Whatever. Here And Jeff takes another one for the team. What a champ. <laughs> <laughs> or the heat miser. Yo, talk to me, camera. It's on. I'm filming it already. Alright, thank you. Is there any light? Let me put the light on my phone on. Wait, guys. There's spiders right there, actually. <laughs> Look at that. Tall spiders. Oh, there's all kinds of shit out there. Like what? You got Bye. <laughs> Come here. Let me film you falling. Oh, dude. So, <laughs> what the hell's that? <laughs> well, let me just say, that's kind of old. Danger, unsafe structure. Hey, there's uh... <laughs> what is Vinny doing? Battle of the Champions, begin! <laughs> why are you, why would you tumble forward? No, roll up the hill. <laughs> no, wrestle, wrestle now. I'm not trying to run. Wrestle, now. In the tall grass. Well done, team. On this video, we probably said "hoot" to about 27 times. You're gonna be like, "What?" I mean, you're just screaming on the Whoever can make it to the tall grass, the farthest wins. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> There's fucking Pokemon in the tall grass. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Zubats and Zubats and shit. And rat pets. <laughs> rat pets. I can ride my with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. I can ride my wheel with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. I can ride my handlebars. You think these things were like legit houses? You think people lived here, man? Looks kind of like it. Cause I mean, like if it was just uh, like a visitor center, I don't think they have all of this back here, you know? Yeah, cause look, there's like a nice yard and stuff. I think it used to be a little garden.
Gördün mü? Oh my god. Oh, I want to eat it. I don't want to hold it. I just want to pet it. Don't be dropping him. I just want to hold myself. I don't really want to touch it. That's why we always smile. We got to get Burmese Mountain Dogs and name them cupcakes. Oh, that noise in my backyard? All right. It's actually not crickets. It's uh, We have millions of tree frogs just hanging out in the backyard. Wait, guys, know what? I know what I know. Hi, Anita. Oh, this is Rod. Marley and me. Watch Marley and me. See who cries last. Become a god. Right, like I cry when a movie starts. It's an opening credits. As soon as I walk past it, there's a barrier of buzzing. Oh god. Open field of leaves. Like, dude, how remote is this? This is beautiful, man. Yes. Yeah, dude, right under the street. Can we please? Yes. Cutie. My cicada. <laughs> Don't be like, yeah, it's something, something. Like, at least I have these things to say no to people, like, when they... Did she ever, like, contact you back? Which was, like, yeah, she still has them. It just aggravates me. What are you guys flying? And then... Oh, nice. And then just over to the side. Yeah, let's just hold it up. We're gonna close it in a minute. <laughs> you won't do it. I won't do it. You won't do it. No. Don't let it go. I just said that. <gasps> oh my god, that's gross, man. Look at all that shit. Hey, Watch oh. out, bro, there are nails sticking out of that. I want to stick your head where it, like, just zings forward. And All right, so you guys want to do another trail? I mean, we just... Uh, nah, we I, uh, I think we should get, we should start heading home before no, it gets dude, let's it's, hit it's, that back one. It's 3 o'clock, we've got, like, 6 hours of light, bro. Well, I mean, you know, just in case. I don't want to... I won't be it, won't take, it won't take more than an hour. Yeah, I know, bro, but I think... I, I just kind of want to go home. Alright, well, you know, before it I guess we had a good day anyway, so... Right. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's hit it. Head out. And cut. <laughs> What's up, Internet? Today we are obviously not in the office, and that is because we're going to do something special this week. Special. Um, we're going to have a two-part series because we got a lot of good reception from the dream video that was very short and not in-depth at all. So now we're going to do two experiments to go in-depth about dreams and sleeping. Uh, me and Jeff are going to do one, and Evan's going to do his own thing. Jeff's going to explain his, and Evan's going to explain his. All right, basically we're just going to deprive ourselves of sleep and be guinea pigs and gate, you know, record the reaction and just let you guys enjoy that. I'm sure some funny things are going to come out of that. And uh, mine is I'm going to keep basically a dream log um, about like how many hours I've slept and, and uh, record what kind of dreams I had. So like if I have a large amount of sleep and a good amount of hours, then hopefully I'll have good dreams. If I have not too many hour, good hours of sleep, maybe I'll have bad, depending also on what I eat, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll mark that down so if I've had Something good to eat, maybe good dreams, bad eat, bad dreams. We'll, we'll see. We'll work it out. We'll yeah. see what happens. Um, just to let you know, we're not going to do anything too dangerous. We know that you can't sit past the three-day mark, so don't worry about any of that. We got that under control. We, we love you guys, but we're not ready to not die that for much, you guys not that at much. this point. Um, we, 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 po <laughs> we apologize for the duration of the last video. Yeah. We just had a good day. There was a lot of It, it was nice through. because, you know, the last couple weeks we were like, what the fuck? So... Everything's getting back to normal. We're, we're pretty excited about the next couple of videos. So, enjoy, Internet. See you later. Chapter 6. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. 
And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof. With lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Chapter 7 And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth, there went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah, and Shem, and Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark, they, and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth. And the waters increased, and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. And the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. 
Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the earth. And the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days. Chapter 8 and God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged. And the fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated, and the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he sent forth a raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Also he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand, and took her, and pulled her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet other seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. And he stayed yet other seven days, and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass, in the six hundredth and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the earth, thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds, went forth out of the ark. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Chapter 9 and God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And the fear of you, and the dread of you, shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man. At the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. 
Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years, and all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. people actually are awake. And if not, we can always just pretend. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That comes to that. Oh, we, got one. we got one viewer. How goes it, viewer? I feel bad. You might not even know who or what we are, you know, yeah, if it's true. from right. the Ustream community. So if you're just randomly from Ustream, I'm Vince. I'm Jeff. And we are Everyman Hybrid. We have a... Uh, two out of three of it. Well, two out of three. Yeah. The other one's upstairs asleep. We do a uh, health food slash... Fitness. Fitness. Mental health. Mental health uh, show slash YouTube thing. It's pretty cool if you want to check it out. Oh, two viewers. Uh... And right now we are in the middle of a two-night no-sleep deprivation marathon. Um, basically seeing what the effects of sleep deprivation have on our bodies. Right now I'm feeling really good, probably just because I'm getting my second or third or fourth wind by now, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm a little bit mm, off my game right now, if you catch me drift. He's, he's the happy kind of yeah. deal with it. I'm just the, let's, let's, just, let's just be here, melancholy kind of. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I've noticed a little bit of auditory hallucinations. Um, not so much anything like, oh, go get them, but kind of like... Or I hear... Pink Christina Aguilera's. If you know what that is, you're awesome. Uh, basically, I've heard just my name, like, come upstairs or something like that, and no one's there. Um, other than that, besides the slow, you know, reflexes, playing video games has become a bitch and a half to do. That's pretty much all I felt. Jeff, what about you, besides your tiredness? Well, you, you, like on a good day, I don't get more than five, six hours of sleep normally, so it's not that different for me. It's just taking, like, if I'm sitting down and I relax, then I have to, for this experiment, I have to stop myself from falling asleep. It's Or I stop it. <laughs> or he stops me throughout the day. Yep. My girlfriend and my younger brother had fun messing with me. It's it's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's almost as if, like corner vision, like I'm getting, like it's almost like I see reflections. They're just blurs. It's it's like me. It's us. It's not anything creepy. Like I said, little pink Christina Aguilera. It's nothing like that. Yeah, I mean, it, for me, it's definitely gotten a lot worse. And I have moments where I'm just like, I want to crash, and then I do something. Like I'll stand up and I'm like, all right, let's do something. Let's get ready. As you'll see in obviously the intro video tomorrow, because I am pretty wired up. Yeah, we're gonna have this chronicled for those of you who are not. We're gonna Again, play the whole a part of this, we have we're gonna have a video about our. It's a two-part sleep special, actually. Like we said, the two out of three of us not being here. Our third person in Everman Hybrid, Evan, right now he's doing a dream log. So Sleeping Beauty's getting good amount of sleep every night. While we're awake. While we're awake, for entertainment and mild scientific purposes. Not really. No, not really. For per personal scientific purposes. Yeah, okay, that works. Yeah, uh, purposes. You know, what, this is what happens after you watch uh, Freddy Krueger movies. It's kind of been a marathon this week. We got we got the first one, second one. Yeah, we saw the new one, first of all, and that sparked our interest in all yeah, the old we, ones. Yeah, the one that was in theaters recently. Which sucked compared to the old one. I, I liked it. It was good for a modern horror. And um, then we saw Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Then we ca capped it with Freddy vs. Jason yep. as of yet, but... We'll, we'll keep the chain go yeah. with the crappier three through eight that we haven't yep, watched yet. Pretty much. <laughs> um, so, guys, anyone here from last night, anyone that we know, or anyone who has questions about what's going down tonight, or, or even for the rest of the series yeah. as a whole. <laughs> They're thinking. You're in that slow these days. More slow these days. There we are. Mm. So what's the capping point tomorrow? For what? It's a sleep. Good question. I'm probably gonna sleep after work at two thirty. That sounds good. Yeah, I might do that. I have a plan. All right, guys. So now we have an official uh, an official end time for this. This experiment's gonna be over at two thirty Eastern Standard Time in the afternoon tomorrow. And then, as soon as I'm done with work, I'm going right to bed. That's <laughs> it. I'm not waking up. You won't see me on here ever again. Hey there, PK at 13th. You got a uh, question? Or Just testing. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> What's going on, dude? And or do that. We don't discriminate here. We don't discriminate. Everything else, every man hybrid. We're not yeah, the title. Every person hybrid doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't sound. Roll good. off. Oh. Well, I'm glad you can join us tonight. Yep. Do you have any questions? Because we were fielding questions last night, and um, there's a good group of people, but we, the camera got a little tweaked. Yeah. When we had a lot of them, and we lost a lot of them after we had to restart. Yeah, so I guess. We, we yeah, I mean, we can't blame them. The patients. It was. Yeah, it was really annoying. We had to restart everything. So if you have anything that you might want to know about us about what we're doing with the project shoot we're here uh, if not we can just keep rambling because you know we seem to do a pretty good sleep job deprived what are we like 36 hours in we can ramble mm -hmm. you don't realize how much like, time is wasted sleeping yeah that and how much you like rely on that yeah are you guys oh okay we talked about this in the beginning um I don't know about Jeff, but I've started hearing stuff. Nothing like, oh, scary horror movie hearing, but like, 
I'm at Jeff's house right now. Like similar to his mom calling. Yeah, him and I could hear my mom calling me up the stairs, even though I'm at Jeff's house. So she's obviously not upstairs calling me. Um, other than that, just heard Vince, Vin, Vin, you know that kind of stuff. Um, so far, nothing visual yet. Hopefully, it stays that way. Jeff, anything about Completely, you? Completely, uh, like you said, for the people who've been with us since we started tonight, it's kind of the opposite. Like I, not really hearing so much. Maybe the occasional misinterpretation. You know, there's a little lag right now going in on our bodies, but really, I'm just seeing like, you know, the usual blurry. I'm sure it doesn't help that these contacts are getting dry. Uh, I really need a pair of glasses soon. Oakley but spectacles. Maybe not Oakleys, but Oakley's yeah, I'm just seeing blurs and the like. N nothing, nothing major. Yeah. So, are we afraid of them? Yes. Yes. Um, we actually have yes. we have a great idea. I don't know where the notebook is right now per se. Here it is. But um, one of our viewers told us that a good thing to do is if you have visual at least because you can't draw sounds. If you have visual hallucinations and if you can draw sounds, you're way past the point. We out. have to talk to you about that technology because we'd love to invest in that if you can draw sounds. Yeah. But um. <laughs> We, sh we were told that we should draw what we see if we do see anything because it'll help bring the realization that it actually can't be there, you know? Like, if it's something unrealistic. Reindeer checked out by physician at all? No, honestly, it's probably not a good idea, but we're just, we know early afternoon we're cutting this yeah. off, and nothing bad's going to happen between now and tomorrow yeah. afternoon. We'll Have be you fine. drawn anything? No, like I said, the only thing that I've had is I've got my second wind, and while I was in my second wind, I heard my mom calling. That's the only real news. But we still got another more than 14 yeah. hours plus 14 to go. Hours. So wow. we'll keep it updated. We'll tweet some. We, of course, have the final video that will hopefully be out. Is today Friday? I don't even I don't know. What's today? Friday morning? Friday morning? Anyone? Hopefully yeah. Friday. So. By Friday afternoon, we should have the final product out. Well, that is awesome, Magic. That was an awesome thing to know. Huh. And you know what? Huh. That is very interesting, and I'm going to look up on that actually soon. It reminds me of a uh, future. Uh, everything tastes purple for a second. <laughs> this is delicious, by the way, and a bargain. I may have misspelled it. Ah, oh, no worries. I'll check on Google and or WebMD, depending on you know what helps me out, and I'll see if you spelled it right. Doctor Who, my uh, my girlfriend, she doesn't watch Doctor Who, but she watches this kid. If you guys are internet community, I'm sure you've seen him on YouTube, like Charlie something McDonald. He plays the melodica and he has a Doctor Who band. Uh, what is it? Wait, yeah, the wait. the ch chameleon circuit, whatever. I, I think that's some sort of like time machine in the show but he has that's the name of his band and they sing doctor who songs it's awesome it's called blink is it one of the new episodes or is it like one of the old school 50s episodes magic angel statues yeah that's depressing because when i was younger <clears throat> i had a idea for a short story about a kid's grandma's house with all these statues in the backyard that came to life and only the kids knew it and whatever Full story, bro. You know what? Oh, okay, yeah, that's not too bad. That's fairly recent. Detective David Tennant. See, for me, it's it's the black and white series, and then it's the ones <clears throat> in color. Like, that's where the cutoff is for me. Even though the ones in color started in, like, the 60s or 70s. Is that old? It's been, it, it started off as a radio show. Uh, yeah, yeah so no, I think I knew that. Yeah. I think I knew that, yeah. I mean, there's, like, renditions after rendition mm -hmm. after rendition. Mm -hmm. Oh. 40 years old. Oh, I thought it started off as a radio show, to be honest with you. Maybe it did. I thought it did. Let's cool. show them what's on the roster tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, I left right that at home, didn't I? I did. No, oh, well. All right, guys. So I thought we'd show you our tools, the tools of the trade to help yourself stay awake. Number one. Oh, this camera's backwards. Deadly premonition. Number two. Afro Samurai. And number three, strangely appropriate, Alan Wake. Alan so we're Wake hoping... Up. I don't know if you guys can see this on the quality of the camera, but I have never-ending 
lines under my eyes. I mean, it's I'm usually like that again, like five six hours on average if I'm lucky. But I just have like a crease under my eyelid right now. I'm normally a 14 hour guy. <laughs> Not even joking. Afro Samurai is where it is at. I just started watching this series after playing the game a couple months ago. Pretty good. Ashamed. You're doing it wrong. Oh. oh, there's Tweets Hurt. I remember you. There's only eight people so far. We got a lively group, at least. Yeah. What's up? Oh, and guys, sorry we're not too entertaining tonight. It's just... I, you might be able to relate. You understand. It's scatterbrained. <laughs> we're, trying to keep, we're trying to keep the reins in, but I can feel my sanity flowing out the window. Vince Sanity stands the house of leaves before the wind. Vince Sanity. It's a whole new take on insanity. Hello, O. Oh. Backslash. Backslash Colden. Backslash dance. What? <laughs> what just happened? It didn't go through. Do something insane to go. abuse us. Okay, well, the only thing I have right now is Jeff, you stay here and close your eyes. No. Yep. Everyone knows I'm the good looking one of the group. I can say that because I'm the only one here. It's gonna be the foam batons. Oh, it's gonna be the foam batons! <laughs> foam batons and biking hats. This is a recording too. I hope so. Maybe we'll, uh, we have a little tidbit of all three of us, Sleeping Beauty, upstairs, fighting to the death with these. Yeah. And it's pretty glorious. Oh, ready? Here comes Jeff's Gator. Put it on, put it on. Mud Kip. Oh, indeed, Viking hat. Well... This solves that right there. That this answers that right this there. This just shows that Jeff is gonna die first before picking up his baton. So guys, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I heard I heard they like I heard you like my... <laughs> uh, uh. Wow, Jeff, we hang out too much. <laughs> We're slowly. I'm slowly learning to hate you. Except I took to torching. Uh, no. How about a pretty sample of my dick butt? Sock monkey? Will that will that appease the masses? No. Let's see. The, the my, this is my desk is a tome of a thousand treasures. It's chapstick, by the way. Lip bomb. Oh, lip bomb. Lip bomb. Please, us Rack masks. ball. We would if there was more than 16 of you. 16 doesn't count as a mass. That counts as a... I think there's only nine. That's like a cult. Nine is a cult, not a mass. Congratulations, guys. You've just been inducted into cult the cult staff. of Hyperman Hybrid. Yeah, by actually logging on to our, our Ustream, you um signed away your soul. We have... And we do sick shit. We hide the remotes on people. A capo. And what, unfortunately for you guys, started it all. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to join a cult. Well, you're among friends. Yeah, see? We love you. You're like a brother slash sister to us. Tomatoes. Tomato seeds. What if you didn't have a soul to begin? Are you well, a ginger? You well, a ginger, we can right? sell you one. Yeah. We have many. In a box. In the flip. It's in the flip. Oh, yes. going to the hybrid. Oh, that God. is going to be quoted no, out that? the butt. Well, then, of course, you have a soul silly. Soul silly. What is this? <gasps> oh, okay. Boy. So, Evan left his keys down here. Look at this glorious little piece right there. That's a chainsaw keychain. We're zombie fanatics, by the way. If no one knows. If you haven't pick that up yet we actually over this winter break it actually the funny thing is it lasted from spring break from christmas break to the end of spring break 
we filmed the zombie movie. And midway during it, it went pretty, pretty much without a hitch. Evan, myself, and my young brother, we were the main characters. And I don't think you guys ever saw Evan when he had long hair, right? Probably not. Yeah, so, uh... Evan had long, long, his hair straight, it was sh longer than mine, maybe just as long as mine, and halfway during filming, he, we have a little party going on, and a little get together at my girlfriend's house, and he's sitting, he comes in, he goes, what's up guys, the moment I see him, I go, oh, this is terrible, he has the complete, like, crew cut, it went from longer than this to a complete crew cut, during, three quarters of the way during a film. So we bought a Cheshire cat knit hat that he ends up finding and wearing instead. Yes. And hopefully we'll have that on YouTube by the Sweet. end of the month because we couldn't upload it because my girlfriend, she used a portfolio in this contest. Something about the... Yeah, you can't show it until after the contest. Exactly, yeah. Now, for Tweet Warp, your question, or your statement, just so you this know. This is my personal Just so question. you know, this is, this is tonight's, on tonight's menu. Just saying, I'm proud of. We these. got we got the zombie the zombie thing down. Oh, and uh, uh zombies of mass destruction. Already showed the it. latest. Uh, oh, did I? I didn't show. Yeah, did. eight films to die for specials. Evan seems to be acting a little strangely. Um, we didn't realize this... among us, Evan is kind of a little strange, yeah. but we all oh, are. You gotta embrace it. Zombie Land, highly recommend it. Yeah. Enough said. We I saw it. Bill Murray, it Woody Harrelson. A rip-off super bad kid. <laughs> Wichita, which, uh, Emma Stone? Emma Stone. Emma mm -hmm. Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone, if you're out there, I'm here. He's single. Dude, if I'm not sleeping for days, I do not want to induce zombie par- We, we would love to induce zombie paranoia. Yeah, like, if I hallucinated that Jeff was a zombie? I'd be dead, I'd and be happy. life would be, life would be good, because I was a zombie. Until I go to, until I go to prison. <laughs> Jeff. How seemingly appropriate is this? Oh, great. It's the Futurama where Fry is buying 100 cups of coffee. Yep. In zombie paranoia. Soviet zombie, zombie paranoia. Zombie does not paranoia you. Perestroika. Perestroika. That's the restructuring of the zombie apocalypse. Yep. Oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> Sucks for you. Well, I Soviet Russia. And just in case you didn't know, the types of beverages we got, we got some French vanilla. I got the fat-free French vanilla. And I got the regular A French cappuccino. vanilla cappuccino. Because latte. he was filling his up. He was filling his up, and uh, I just used the one right next to it. And it worked out pretty well. Because, like, you know, the whole hold on until two-thirds of the cup is up, that kind of thing. Yeah. So instead of burning each other, we each filled up simultaneously. It was good stuff. I and now it's gone. <laughs> I almost got the Reese's. Almost. You Reese's? Almost oh, got no, the Reese's. Hot, Reese's hot cocoa. And then it just sounded gross. Uh, this late at night. No, you lied. Oh, I'll take care of this. <laughs> Where's my Viking at? I can't do this alone. Don't worry, who, It'll be who's, dangerous to who's, who says that I need to go take care of background? These hips do not lie. You round reindeer, I'll be back. What the fuck? Um, what happened? A kitty. Alright guys, so once Vinny gets back and doing whatever, we're gonna be heading out tonight because we got a lot of not sleeping to do. And we don't want to, again, bore you guys all night. Legs moving on the ground. No. Then. Yeah, this is, what, this is what I love, my uh, my friend Vin, moving throughout my storage in, in my house. So. All is well, fellas. All is well. Alright, gentlemen. Um, Calling it done of the Ustream? Eh, we got a little bit. A little bit? 
Yeah, I mean, I'd rather be here than go to sleep. Yeah. You <laughs> can go to sleep? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I wish I could go to sleep. Oh, and, and by the way, Ranger, maybe you need some sleep. Cause nothing, yeah, nothing, like, nothing. everything yeah. around here is sort of going, like, fry on the TV, 100 yeah. cups of coffee, he's gonna die. You're gonna die. I love you. Speaking of Sleep House Evans Journal, oh, we haven't Wait. actually viewed it just because we want to have that same surprise as you know everyone else because we want to see actually what his uh he wants to were. also i don't think he reviewed it yet because most of the yeah. time he at least what he he goes off he tells us he is he's like in a use i mean honestly if it was anything oh, all night you stream oh god uh, no thank you Did you guys imagine us all night you know maybe hopefully maybe. it's not all porn whoa <laughs> whoa don't be saying i'm ugly bro but uh, what he was saying is most of the time, he again like Vinny, the Mister Fourteen Hours Sleep. Mm. When, when he picks up the flip, because he's I think he's set an alarm throughout the week to yeah. wake up relatively early, so he's, he's fresh. I don't think he's a uh, he's much he's very sentient with it, so he's he doesn't remember it much either. I know who Tranquil Boy is. Who's Tranquil Boy? Tranquil Boy. It's Jay. It's Jay, dude. Jay, get off of our thing, boy. <laughs> Put on your mask and go home, Jay. LOL. As you guys can see, I made fun of it. Bootleg so ass nice. Justin Bieber. Tranquil is a troll. He is a troll. Tranquil boy. Tranquil lol 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 troll lol lol is a Jay. Well, you see, Tranquilo boy, he's a frequent lifer in the club. <laughs> And $20. he does not give up his $20. Nope. So, Tranquilo, we love you. I do love you. You don't know me. You don't know we. <laughs> you don't know we. Who is we, yo? No, again, guys, we talked about this from the beginning. The Marvel Hornets, they were a big... They were an influence. They were a big influence. Uh -huh. They were the first ones to do it. And that's why we kind of wanted just to, you know, fitness and, yeah, okay, fitness just hide some things. Here. Maybe not so subtle, but again, enough with that. Like, we're past it. But we love, we still like it. We're zombie fanatics. We're horror fanatics. Yeah. We spent the last week watching We're just, we're just taking nightmare. a break after the incident, pretty much. <laughs> so, Tranquilo, do we still not know we? Do we not know we? Tell that dude in the book he have it back. He has an egghead. Which one, me? Because there's only two of us, and we're both kind of right next every to each other. Every man, Harper. <laughs> Tell every man. And if I have an egghead, I take it as a compliment. Because you know who has an egghead? Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Was that who you're going for? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Nice. Br -br -br Boom. Everyone has an egghead. Okay, now that, that brings up another point. Human anatomy. <laughs> let's let, let's let's do a a, a, gene, a genetics special next time. Yeah, That'll be real fun. Amateur geneticists. Genesis? Yeah. In the big shut up before I crack from on the stove. In. We do have the TV on. I don't know if you guys Tell can pick that, that up. Censored in the big shut up before I crack him on the stove. What does that even mean? What does that mean? If you're gonna troll, at least make it legible. Or serious. No worries. Alrighty. Alright, fellas and ladies. Um, we're probably gonna hit it, watch a couple zombie movies. Uh, maybe play a game or two. We'll maybe tweet a little bit tonight. Yeah, we'll t probably tweet it up. And then tomorrow morning we should have... Eat this ham. <laughs> oh, you're my favorite person ever right now. Tranquilo, you are our number one fan. I'm sorry, guys. As much as we love oh, you, hold on, hold on. this series is not for you anymore. This is all for Tranquilo. Yep. Avoid Survival of the Dead. Also avoid um, our fitness Zombie series Diaries. Is for Tranquilo. Zombie Diaries is terrible. Just saying. Zombie Diaries? I don't. Yeah. Did we see that? Did oh, I see that one? No, you didn't. I told you not to watch it. I think yeah. Diary of the Dead on the other hand, uh, other hand is watchable. It is worth the watch. Me. Wait, are you? Is he putting the censored in, or does it actually like? I think it's censored. Oh, it nods it. Yeah, that's what I thought. At least if it's called the curse words, right? That's cute. That's good. Alright, guys. Um, For a little recap, for anyone who wasn't here before, I'm feeling pretty good with my second, third, whatever wind I'm on now. 
Did anybody ask what he was? Mm, he's okay. angry. That's you're, awesome. You're just an angry person. Okay. Grindhouse, we love the Grindhouse package. That the whole thing is yeah. complete great lols. Yeah. Um. Anyway, for recap, sorry. We went to 7 Eleven tonight, got our coffee fix. I'm feeling pretty good, even though I know I'm going to crash within a couple hours. I feel like I'm going to die, but I'm doing all right. All right. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, pretty good. Um, I heard, have a little bit of auditory, <coughs> bless you, auditory Thank you. hallucinations, nothing big deal. And if anything does come up with the sketches, we'll oh, feature yeah. it towards we'll the end of the video. The so or, we do start seeing or stuff. Or twit pick it. Twitpick? We can Twitpick. We'll see what's up. Yeah. So if we have anything that we happen to sketch, Thank you, Magic. and or YouTube video it. Alright, guys. It's been good. I, I like this little Ustream idea. We might implement it weekly. Yeah. It's up to you yeah, guys. We'll, whatever you guys like. If you, uh... Yeah, if we start getting really <laughs> weird, I'll, I'll stream something. If I start, uh, throwing an invisible ball against the wall and tearing blood out my eyes, anyone? Hello, well. Then we'll start Check streaming. Norman J because, Tranquilo, you are a very mad individual. You so mad. That's why, Tranquilo. It's all for you. Yeah, we'll be we'll be around. We were here yesterday, obviously. Um, and yesterday's show was a lot bigger and better because we were fielding questions. We were not retardedly sleepless. Yeah, like this is this was on a whim. So maybe we'll do like a... This seems like a pretty good time because generally I don't work on Friday mornings. The weeks I do sleep... Mm -hmm. Even though the one week I decided to stay up for two weeks in a row, they scheduled me 8 a.m. Yeah. Friday morning. Go and, figure. And I work, since I'm a sub, I pretty much work whenever they call me. So I don't know until 6 a.m. the morning of work. <laughs> so it's a beautiful Russian roulette. Type it's deal. a beautiful day. Okay, guys. All right, fellas, ladies. Take it easy. Tranquil. Bye. Everman hybrid out. Love you, Tranquil. All right, what's going on, hybrids? It is day, night, two, without sleep. <laughs> and um, we've got our second, well, at least I've got my second wind. Feeling a little bit on edge, a little bit whatever. We're out there. Um, tonight, we're basically going to give you time-lapse awesomeness of everything that we're going to do. Um, along with that, we are going to 7-Eleven later, so you get to follow us on that journey. Um, so far, I got really tired, and I'm really, hmm, pretty good. Um, yep, yep, anything to add, Jeff? You good? You good? All right. Um, all right, hybrids, we will catch you later, and, ah, perfect time to explain this. We had a user, Raven Theory, on YouTube and Twitter give us the idea that if we see any hallucinations, we should start sketching them down because it helps you stay in reality and realize what you're drawing is obviously not real. Um, so we will show you any sketches or anything that we see or anything that we hear. We'll let you know. Later, hybrids. Because you know they'd be like, "Oh, it's for theatrics or something like that." But um, when I went back there, let's just say not all was kosher, dude. Just take a look. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Within the ten seconds that it took for me to get up and get back, this was there. Well, I mean, we were on line for a little bit. Yeah. Because I mean, this wasn't back when we got the weapons out to mess with Adam before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Think Alex could have done this? Yeah, I mean, look, he's our duck, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the stuff we got from work. I guess we're just paranoid, you know? What's that, mate? 40 hours. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs>
It's from the. Yeah, it's the I like you doll from Agnes. Yeah, what yeah. happened? Though? Looks like dog. It's burned. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shooting down my ideas. Whatever. I mean, I think my, this is my brother trying to mess with Evan. Yeah, but yeah, um, then we can't let him we see, can't let him see this. <laughs> Evan will freak out, and he's just now getting back to normal. We don't want that. Let's get out of here. Get this in the morning. My brother will, not us. <laughs> Alright. Now, well, Jeffrey's gonna be bad. I snuck away from a moment, along with Mr. Vincent. Now that Evan isn't crouching into our experiment, he's supposed to be asleep rusting, and we're breaking our butts being up two days in a row. So, we got a couple of fun weapons, and we're gonna go have a little fun. Here you go, my friend. Evan, what you looking at, bud? Let's try it. What you guys doing on there, dude? Yeah. Real fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right, all right, where's mine? Morning hybrids, it's almost six, yeah. and it's uh, two nights without sleep. It's coming to an end because we're probably gonna pass out in a, in a couple hours now. And Evan went back to sleep. He's finishing his portion of the well-rested dream log. <laughs> Lucky, Lucky him. yeah. So I mean, throughout the night, I mean, if you can see the bags under my eyes, just as an example. I, I've, it was hard to concentrate throughout the night. That's why we had Evan drive us hours ago back to 7-Eleven to get us some more fuel. If you can see that the video, we uh, it was hard to concentrate. Like I said, on reading, started. I read like the same page four times. It was bad, and I don't know. <laughs> also, stuff like just playing video games got pretty hard, just because reaction time got really slow. Um, I don't know, about, you know, 30 hours into the experiment, and then it just got downhill from there, like, that was pretty bad. Also, I noticed that I got a lot hungrier the less um, I slept. I guess it was trying to, my body was trying to compensate for what I'd lost in sleep by making up with the energy burning. Um, so between the loss of concentration, the terribly slowed reaction time, and the hungriness, that's enough for us to say that sleep is a very important part of your daily plan. So, yeah. hybrids, sleep as much as you can. Once you hit that, like, the first 24 hours without sleep, mm -hmm. your body just goes into reserves and you f you'll feel fine. Uh -huh. But once you go into the second night, it's not, not so good. Yeah. You get your so, second one, but you'll definitely feel the pain the next night. We're not going to waste much time with this one. We're just going to time lapse yeah. the hours of footage we All got right. and then throw right, it up. Right yeah, we already got that going. Check that out. So, we'll see you guys soon. Enjoy. Later, hybrids. Hey there, everyman hybrids. Uh, this is Evan's sleep log, Monday, day one. Um, here's how this is going to work. Basically, I'm going to go to sleep, but before I go to sleep, I'm going to tell you guys what time I'm going to bed and what I ate before I went to sleep. 
Uh, when I wake up, I'm going to turn this little thing back on, and I'm going to shout my dream at it uh, as quickly as possible to remember any kind of little details that might be important as to saying what the hell that dream was about. Uh, <clears throat> so this is Monday, day one. Uh, 11.35 is when I'm going to bed, and what I ate before I went to bed was um, some pizza, plain but deliciously greasy, and a big old thing of hot wings and blue cheese, and I was loving it. So, let's see what kind of horrors this brings me. There we go. Alright, <clears throat> it is uh, 6.44. Uh, um, I've just woken up, and uh, my dream for Monday, the first day, was um, nothing in particular. Uh, I don't know. I was in a field, blue skies, it was nice, uh, I was with my grandmother for some reason, uh, she's dead, but we were having a picnic, so I guess it was a good one, I really like my grandmother, but nah, it was, to, it was to argue, it was still a nice day, I'm probably gonna go back to bed. Alright, <clears throat> day two. Um, I'm going to bed at 12.08 at night, uh, or in the morning, rather. And, um, I had to eat today some grilled chicken, uh, which was good and healthy, but, uh, I kinda, I kinda slipped a little, and I had some Doritos, too. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the healthy food guy. Um, so let's see how this affects, you know, mediocrely healthy meal. And, uh, let's see what happens. Let the dreams begin! Alright, uh, <clears throat> so, the next morning of day two, uh, it is 8.01. Um, I had no dreams, or at least I can't remember them. I don't know, it seems like it was just... Like, I know that I slept for a long time, I had that feeling, but it just seemed like I just didn't dream at all. Kind of weird. Um, alright, so, you get mediocre meal with mediocre time, you get mediocre dreamness. Uh, alright, I guess. I'll see you all next, no, I'll see you all tonight. Alright, <clears throat> well, I'm going to bed at 11... Oh four, um, I ate pretty well tonight. I was uh, I was liking the results, kind of. I, I think it's interesting that it was changing, but uh, I ate really healthy tonight. And um, eleven oh four, not a too unreasonable time to go to sleep, I think. So I'm gonna get a good amount of sleep since I don't have work tomorrow. Um, so let's see what kind of awesome dreams await me. All right, guys. Uh, good night. Alright, so, um, I had an awesome dream for day three, uh, slept a good amount of hours, ate good food, and I had some wicked awesome dreams about roller coasters and stuff, and I love roller coasters. Nothing bad, no nightmarish stuff, so, uh, positive all across the board. So, um, let's see what tonight holds for me. See y'all later. Alright, well... Uh, it's 10.30, it is day four, um, I'm going to bed a little bit earlier, uh, and I ate tonight a chicken Caesar salad with a glass of water and, uh, some fruit on the side, and I'm hoping for a really nice dream since, um, the last results were pretty good, I'm hoping for a real good one this time. Uh, so, good night everybody, and I will see you all in the morning. <sighs> <clears throat> it's uh, 3.29 in the morning. Um, I woke up because uh, I think a big part of it is the fact that the uh, the two other boys, my other Everyman hybrid fellas, are downstairs uh, goofing off, jerking around for their own experiment. Um, but I think a big reason that I'm awake right now is because of this messed up dream that I just had. Um, children, it was the creepiest thing. It was kids. 
and I was in uh, I was in the middle of a town, and they were they were everywhere having fun doing stuff, and then they just started disappearing. I would look around, and there were less around me, and um, until there was like none, and and I just heard them all screaming and screaming, and it was like all of them just screaming at once, and uh, the next time that I turned around looking. I was in the middle of the woods and I, I could hear them so much louder and everywhere and it sounded like they were coming from the trees and these bags I'm going to try to go back to sleep alright uh, um, it's uh 4.30 in the morning, and uh, I don't feel like I slept at all. Uh, I don't remember my dream. Uh, I really thought that I would get a better night's sleep, especially since I went to bed early, and I ate I ate pretty good, so I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be getting back to sleep, especially with all the noise that those um, dick butts are making downstairs. So uh, I think I'm just going to go join them. Oh, uh, I'll see you all again later. Hey there, hybrids. Uh, this is Evan, and uh, this is the end of our sleep study with the dreams. Um, basically, what I have learned and what I've taken from this is that if you eat good food and have some good hours, you'll have uh, some good dreams, or you may not even remember them, which, hey, that's better than bad ones, because I had some dreams, but I forgot, like, two of the nights. I couldn't really remember my dreams. Um, however, bad food, bad hours, bad dreams. Or also nothing. Um, but also something that we did learn is that one of the one of our viewers uh, sent in something to us about eating chocolate and said that if you eat chocolate before right before going to bed, it will give you bad dreams. And um, that viewer actually did that their own study for two days in a row eating chocolate, and it worked. Uh, it gave her bad gave him her bad dreams um, each time. So. Stay away from chocolate before you go to sleep. Try to get some good hours and try to eat well right before going to sleep. And you may have a most wondrous slumber, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty then. Take it easy. Turn it off. Turn it off! Hey guys, um, I just got my internet set up, so now I can actually, like, visually touch base with you guys. I just moved into my new studio in Princeton, my new art studio, like, as you can see, just, like, showing off a little bit back there. Even though it's comfortable here, I'm not, I'm not really sure how secure I feel here yet, at least not secure enough to give you guys my real name yet. And, um, oh yeah, and I got a question if I know an Evan... I'm sorry, I don't think I know an Evan, so I'm pretty sure that I don't know who he is, and, and yeah, like, I have a, I have a follow-up with my doctor tomorrow, so I better go get some sleep right now, but I'll keep you guys posted, okay? So, bye. Oh, Freddy Krueger, how sweet the dark meat. Oh, what's up, brother? Where's it gonna go from there, dude? Where's your eyes and pretend it's a bad dream? Where's it gonna go? We just keep going. We do what we always do, and we truck on. Yeah, where does that got on us, man? Where, what are we talking about here, boys? He's talking about the, the little shrine in, my, in the back room. And he's Oh, <laughs> he's making a big deal out of it. Evan, same thing happened to him. Same sort of situation, and he's a fucking champ. What's, what's gonna happen with him about you? Is. I mean, it's going in a little cycle we'll here now. We'll keep going. Isn't it? We'll keep going. Well, okay. Because Alex would have done that. Alex did Alex that. Alex could have done that. He would have done that. He wasn't home. Well, I told you this. this. Him? I don't know, it could have been him, but it wasn't. He wasn't even in the state at that time. He was with his friends. Then he, he's not free. He doesn't exist, dude. He doesn't exist. Well, right now, what is Vinny doing? <laughs>
<laughs> well, he's it, trying to let him win. If if we go on with this, we shut down. Trying to let who win? Whoever's doing this. He's gonna let this fucker win if we shut down these videos. Whether it's it's not, I'm not some running right, here. Don't. This is for hours. Say I don't. We. I love those. All these people talk about. It, I love them. But we. This ain't worth it, man. This. This ain't worth it. It's not like you can change it now. Exactly. If if we stop now, it'll keep happening. Someone's just gonna walk What? No. Somebody's here. No. Whatever's happening. Because this person's not gonna stop. He went to Evan, we gave them the warning, and now he's fucking with you. We you can't stop. I'm done. Dude, I'm Evan, turn this fucking thing off. <laughs> sorry, guys. Jeff, don't worry about it. We, we get this. He's had this happen before. Yes, sir. And you know, the way that I see it is... I mean, I honestly thought it'd be over with Evan. But it seems like it's Dude, come full circle. It just sounds like we're just running around doing the same thing over and over again. I know, but I, I honestly feel like we have to finish these videos. We have to do it. There's just no other option. We have to do this because if we stop, he's won, and he might come back, whoever this is, and keep doing it, even though the videos are done. Because it's already started. Sorry, you know. Uh, so let's just put it. Let's just put a few out, and if something happens, I promise we'll stop. We'll stop. There, no questions asked. I won't push it any further. We'll just stop. But I say that we keep going. Just a few more. You know, I mean, I might be, you know, speaking, uh, talking crazy here from what you guys would probably consider, but, um... Based on what I've seen and based on what you guys have seen and what we've all experienced with the trying to edit the videos and you know the shit that we've seen and heard I mean do you figure that maybe it's possible that this is um So, Princeton, yeah, I I still have no friends, but what can you do? Not that I care about friends anyway, because every time I even make a friend, it's not like they care about what I say anyway, because they just cut me off, because all they really care about is what they have to say, because people never really listen to you, so, you know, I just thoroughly decided, people, no, don't care, whatever. I do better off anyway, with all my work and stuff, better off without friends, more of a distraction to me. But, and I checked out that, um, oh, okay, I checked it out. I checked out the, um, this Evan guy, this hybrid man or whatever it's called. I watched about, like, four or five videos. It's amusing, really. No, they really, like, they really do seem like nice guys. It's, it's cute, but they shouldn't really mess with things that they don't know about. Just saying. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like making a Holocaust joke. You know, but I'm gonna go get to work. I need some sleep tonight anyway, so I'll check you guys out later.
I say meditation. Alright. No, okay, I like that. I like that. That goes well with the whole mental health thing. I think also to couple that, we should do what they were saying with uh, the whole knife fighting thing. We should have maybe self-defense against knives, against weapons, just general. You know, against the dark arts. Also, also to couple that, couple that, we can do some fridge time because right now it's fridge time. What do you say? Yes. I need me some of them there slushy pops. Give me the flavor slush pop. Kind of godly. My fridge is kind of godly. I want that. Want what? Inflatable helmet. Of course, you would like that. We don't promote that. I don't know. 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 Or two, an appendage. <laughs> oh wait guys, it's not a birthday card, it's from the American Black Cross. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Kids will write happy birthday on it? Well, this is officially the worst birthday card I've ever received. Nice. What does it say? What is it? I don't even know. What the fuck is that? What's it? We want your donation. It's a robot birthday card, man. It's a robot. Oh, Vin, freeze pop. Yeah, hold on a minute. I got this. I got this. Yeah. So you know, they get rid of the shit one. I want to go over to the one. I just
What is up, fellas and ladies? Gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. You've seen that seeing is... Testify. Testify. <laughs> Who was that? You know you want a baby gene. That was Jeff's brother. Alex. Alex. Hello, Hello are you living in real? Yes, we are living. In living color. Black and white actually. What's up, guys? <laughs> Good You're job. a scary person, Alex. Um, <laughs> dumbass face. So the main reason we called everyone oh, here yeah. today is to uh -huh. explain the whole wristband um, giveaway thing. I like you, Narzilla. We've got like what, fifty-seven or fifty-eight? Oh, Seventy. Right now, we oh, wow. to the EMH Promos Gmail account we set up. We got about seventy or so that are currently there. So there's still room for like. 30 people to get in and who knows if we're lo loving gods we might add more people yes. if you just get in under now, the the only thing is don't expect them right away because we're still trying to get them you know that's being constructed apparently um we're trying to get them ready to go so that might take up to a month depending on how much we feel like paying on shipping and um all that good stuff can you send a pigeon to the only if you pay for the feed only if you pay for the feed I actually raise pigeons, so... Oh, no. Anger face. You. I'm sorry, you guys. sorry. Actually, send your email, and if we can get it to you, we can get it to you, depending on how much it's going to cost to ship overseas. Or, not email, whatever The pigeon may not live overseas. Pigeons are delicious source of fortune-telling organs. This is true. Not already, ready? It's actually I'm a student. Fact. I can't afford to feed them myself. <laughs> I'm Po. I will then... I can't do this. I'm Po. No, it's from the UK, bro. They don't speak like that in the UK. On pow. <laughs> Someone tell me about the letter on the letter. Can you see the words? Oh. Interesting. No, I'm gonna text. <laughs> and I'll I'll speak. What up, hybrid? Not much, dude. What's going on? All, All right. right. Can you see the words? We've this been on girl, it. we've been on it. This one obviously apparently found it on a few times. Miss Drevens on the computer Ever. found something. Of course, something that we have no idea about. We check this girl out. I like that. And yeah, um, some of us check I'm in a relationship. And <laughs> well what do you want us to say? Yes, I'm, the broadcast is in black and white right now. Um yeah, we've been on it, we don't see any relation uh to us immediately. So, I mean go away. We don't speak of that, good man. That's that's a past. Slutter man hunting. Yes. We're over. We're over that. The letter. There's a picture with of the numbers. Just like yours. Oh no shit! Like, like the one that I got. Yeah, My yeah. Little birthday card. Money the, the coordinates. Money. Right. Okay, like everyone else and the grandmother on the internet, we saw the little coordinates. We know all that kind of stuff. Well, you might have. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. No. All right, so there was. Did you guys go to the that letter thing you got? Yeah. It was obviously ripped up. I don't know what you did with it now, mm. but apparently our, our little friend in Princeton got the same thing. The other half of it. <laughs> Mind blown. See, this is why I'm the only one who can use this Are the Twitter you account. Check them out. Um, Princeton's a little ways away from us. It's only like. 20 minutes, but it's not really worth it just to go check yeah, out. Yeah, because who knows where that is or what that is or who even left that. So, I don't know. Let's just leave that away. You guys go for it. Yeah. We're not driving out that, <laughs> that way right now. If you guys want to go for it and let us know what's out there. Same place you guys want hiking. Let me just double check it. Have we it didn't go by Princeton. We were, we were out by Lambertville. We were closer to, yeah, like Lambertville, New Hope area. If you guys know, I don't know how many of you are from Jersey, but uh, the Washington Crossing State Park. It's the trail's the part of that actually. Is it really? It's I don't know why it's all the way up that way, but we actually went about forty minutes the other way from Princeton. I just oh um Slendy Stalker <laughs> nice name. Uh, quick question about the First the wristbands. Time. I just explained that earlier. What's happening is we still uh, got about thirty wristbands that are ready to you know for people who want them. Seventy out of hundred. Seventy responded. out of hundred. So once we hit the hundred mark, we're gonna get them all shipped to us. And then get them shipped to you. So that could take anywhere from two weeks to a month. But um, you will be getting them. I don't know, CT, ask him. Okay, that was kind of funny. As much as I dislike us talking about him, 
Speaking of a trail, who was with the building Jeff and Evan were trying to break down the door in front of the trip? Mm-hmm. What door? That building. Which break down what? Break down what? Wait, what did it say? Speaking yeah, of the trail. trail, what was that building that Jeff and Evan were trying to break the door down of on a... The... I don't okay, remember guys. breaking down a Will you Let's, Let me see how many direct messages we got in, regarding this dot 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 dash 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 yeah, all that kind of crap. Oh, is that that shit again? Is that the... Yeah. <laughs> in the words of our I'll queen. Give, I'll give you guys <laughs> credit for making such an intricate goddamn Evan, thing. The ominous 13th video that you can't see. Oh my God. It's like the 13th floor of them. Like the building. 13 ghosts. They can't so we're not naked in the baseball bats. And chains. Mm. I, no, I, li- I like how everybody's got together and really not trolling you. Get uh, if I have to. Oh god! If you guys want, I can download the, the video thirteen video ghosts of Scooby Doo. Thirteen ghosts of Coop. Thirteen yeah, ghosts of Goo. URL removed. <laughs> Thank you, Magus. <laughs> we should get paid. Can I be? Can I be uh, Fred's ascot? I don't want to be Fred. I just want to be Fred's ascot. I will be Fred. I will wear you around my neck proudly. Yes. <laughs> I want to be Thelma. You love all the ads for the hybrid cars. Nice. Um, J Cat. I don't know who J Cat is, but we did get. Happy We got an email with the screen cap, and it was YouTube 404. Yeah, and we sent that back to the person, and put a lull. Scrappy Doo did suck in the first Scrappy movie. Scrappy did suck. Where we live, Central Jersey. Central Jersey. I think we have that in our profile, right? Yeah. Whatever. 404 from the screen. Well, that's well the screen we cap was 404. That was a 404 screen cap. It's like air, though. Like the screen like cap that the person in took air. and sent to us, it was a JPEG of a 404. ADI. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I think it's JPEG. I grew up in the Central blue Jersey. hole. So did I. What the hell is a blue hole? Gentlemen, uh, blue hole. Who said phantom? Phantom. I didn't know Jersey has a lot of forests. Is that the blue hole? Really? <laughs> At one point, if no, no, no. Read the one up. You got what? Does that you guys mean? should all dress up as Slender Man, thus confusing him and <laughs> rendering him vulnerable. Okay, <laughs> I know I'm laughing about this, but does Evan still it. have the doll with him? That little, your little present from the park. You have that at home, right? Oh, maybe. I don't know where that is. I just kind of threw that down. Before I leave you, hybrids, does Evan still have? Oh. And make him fight the guy. Introduce Slender Women. See, we, we've like tried to find gosh. Slender Women, but these days in America, <laughs> it's hard to find Slender Women. And with that, I leave. In the words of the great, this will fool them unless they look at it. What looked very bare? You guys should paint it. It looks very bare. We're talking about action style. What are we talking about? Why and what does your logo represent? Oh. Fitness. <laughs> you want Originally, it's just something the design we came up with. We're not going to bullshit you. I was tired and bored at 4.30 in the morning one night, and I made the logo. And that was it. Earlier posts. Knife sharpening skills. Actually, ah. viewer feedback. We might try to go into a self-defense episode. Because that we actually do know a little yep. bit about. Evan here teaches martial arts from time to time, and I took martial arts from time. And I saw a Jackie Chan movie one time. Uh, and I saw Bruce Lee. I, I can't see my t-shirt because it's all black. Ah, uh, good job, Magus. Stick your pins in the... Yeah, see, we're not going to do that, ever. Stick what? Don't you, don't you touch my purse! <laughs> Bobber. I got That's prepared funny. in my urethra. Karate! Right now the yeah, X- mixed martial right arts, now Xbox. actually, is what it specifically oh. is. My girlfriend's at work right now. You mean actually sharpening knives? Um, I don't know anything about no. it. My friend has a whetstone. He knows a little bit about it. And I think Evan may have used a whetstone. Yeah, he's, he's trying to learn more about it. I'd like to use his, because I'd really like to sharpen that. Oh, you yeah, should definitely, thinking. if you if you have the option to learn any kind of martial arts, do it. Yeah, anything's better than You nothing. cannot stab monsters. They do not become real. Yo, Magus, Alex, come here. 
It's my brother. Yeah, it's my brother Alex. Yeah, the, that's that's the Alex. people just joining us. He's there's not some omnipotent evil in the background. Hey, my little brother. We should all watch. Uh, well, that's Billy it, he's not guy. omnipotently evil. You're impotent, right? I, impotent. You're impotently evil. No. You know what? Impotent. What's impotent? Hello. Where's that hand coming Stop from? Peace and release. The two and a half second hallway. GTA calls. Sure. Oh, you're playing G which? Oh, are you doing Gay Tony? Yeah. Ah, I want to see you blow up helicopters, bro. I love it. Uh, I love it. Uh, love it. Uh. Come, dude. When I when a hand goes on the back of the head, there is usually cheesy music. Go skydiving. Yes. Already done. You. Already? When? Two days ago. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you. Did you guys see Shit. Evil Dead? Uh, which oh, one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the original one. or the remake? And the then Army of Darkness. And Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness. Go earth diving. Evil Dead is the best. Evil Dead is the best. Oh. The second one. Like, that. Uh, there was Evil Dead, then there was Evil Dead 2, which, which was basically just a copy. Yeah. <laughs> Boomstick is my... Give yeah. me back my head. I love House of Leaves. Resident Evil is my BFF as well. And oh, House, House of, of Leaves. Yeah, he's a fucking House of Leaves nut. You guys We decided that we're going to make a... All right, all of, there's actually a, another question hidden somewhere in that massive text. Is there... Of all the footage, footage that we've seen take place in Evan's house, do we live together? No. We are poor college students. We live in our parents' houses. And this right now, this is my house. You guys all seen that. No. You've seen parts of my basement, I believe. Still amazing. You've seen nice. Evans upstairs House. at and his I basement. I think you've seen his basement as well. Hello. Hi, Alex. If he can start oh. off with what he studies. What do you study, bro? Wait. Study economics and political science. I'm so fun. Right now, like how I just came in, that was a cool transition. Right now, I'm going to, I'm studying in liberal arts, but I'm planning on transferring out to NYU to go to their film department. And I might minor in some sort of developmental psychology. Grab your pills, medic. The house with the lights, that was Evan's basement. That was Evan's awesome crap basement. He has. <laughs> yes. Pills! My delightful basement. Grabbing heroin. I mean, adrenaline. <laughs> yes. Look at that. So basically, bull. I am majoring in bull pie. But it makes bull a pie? lot of money in bull pie, don't it? What is your favorite vegetable? Well, I have to say, this one, you the cabbage with lettuce. Carrots. Potato. What Carrots. happens? No, apples. What's the cheese? Yeah, that apples was, that was... my favorite vegetable. That's a fruit. That's a fruit. Sweet. Wow. Salsify? Yeah. I can't even read what you're saying. I am so in this main chair. What it the is not hell even am funny. I reading? Welcome to Every Evan Hybrid. What is this? I'm dying. What was? What, what did you put out there? Sitting the new there? Predators movie. Heck yes. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Hello. Hello, Nazella. How are you doing today? Oh God, stop with so many. I'm waiting only for Nazella to talk. Oh God. World War Z is nice too. That yes, needs to is. be a fucking movie. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I made that. That uh, yes, America all, versus the zombies. We scene. all have stairs in our house. America. I loved World War Z. I loved it too, Action Snail. Action Snail, you get cooler by the day. See, we were Don't gonna, you go a-changing. We were gonna do more cooking episodes, but as college students, we suck at cooking. And yeah. Unless you're actually going to I, I Yeah, I, I Evan, diddle with it Evan, a yeah. I diddle diddle. With I'm a diddler. Kinda got uh, kicked out of uh, county county school for you cooking. Zombie, zombies couldn't really be real because their blood does not flow, and so their muscles cannot move. Actually, what moves their muscles is magic. You know what moves magic? Harry Potter. You know what moves Harry Potter? Zombies. <laughs> Circle of life. What a buzzkill. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Nazila! Uh, I don't know. I don't there's know just so about. many, I can't even... What makes Evan the nutrition expert? Um, I just know a little bit more than these guys yeah. about what good food to eat. You know what I mean? Like I, He's not so much as an I'm expert. not an expert at all, just the expert amongst these, yeah. our group. A film based oh, upon... What the hell happened to your hand? Wait, wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Or a film based upon the book is in development. What book? If you tell a me book. World War Z, I will. I will cream run around naked computer. forever. 
<laughs> that laugh. Oh my god! Oh, 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 scorpions! Scorpions! Lizards! Spooge and oh yeah. Times a thousand. Run around naked, oh my god, yes. I just in your pants. Can can me men? I won't action snell, don't worry. Jizz in my pants. Michael, oh. Rose. Lizard scorpions! Do it. Lizards? Ha <laughs> XD! Aren't they making a TV series for The Walking Dead? Yes, yes they fucking they are. are. We were just talking about that the uh, other night. Can you believe that shit? We were just talking about that the other night and how incredible it looks. I cannot wait till they play, till they put the mayor up I there. can't wait till they give me a free sample of their The dick. governor, right? Yes. See, I, I say one and I say the so other. The left, is correct. Huh? They're filming it in my hometown? What? I don't know what that means. I think he spelled... I think he meant filming, but I'm not sure. They're filming uh, the Walking Dead show. No, no, no. He's someone says Starts they're in fall. filming it. It in shouldn't be a miniseries. It should be a long series. Well, maybe I'll continue. I think this is almost like a uh, like the <laughs> Will It Do Good thing. Yeah. When does Walking Dead start? I have no idea. This September. They're filing September. September. Oh, what it channel? does. That is true. What channel? Is AMC. AMC this September. How long was this stream? Eh, we just kind of came on to talk about the yeah. What time is the wristband? So it's not really Jessica gets all four at ten thirty. So do we any might of you parkour? Oh, we we can show you a video about parkour, but it's not us. How hideous is that? <laughs> it looks like a demon baby. Stop it. That's not you though. Why do you care? It isn't me. I want to show that so bad. How do we get the wristbands? All right. Uh, hold on. Did you send an email <laughs> to us? Child. Hmm? I get Your face looks like a demon baby. Oh no. Your face is demon baby. Ugly baby. Baby needs to get in my belly. Get out of my belly. What the Christ? <sighs> it is not a verb. No brother, you ready for some gratuitous violence? You just got itted. Just made it a verb. You just got baconed. Just made bacon a verb. I'm gonna draw an ugly baby real quick. Boy, this is an exciting feed. I I'm drew texting your dream baby. I drew an ugly baby. You can't see Where the it. fuck you can is see it? it? I can see it an ugly baby. You suck. Whoa, it's all black. Oh, I was blind there for a second. I was terrified. Um. All right. So. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. So we're thinking that for our de gras of our awesomeness we're gonna try and either do a meditation slash yoga or self-defense slash knife fighting would you guys rather see one more than other both at once what we'll have we'll have jeff both meditate while we while we attack him with knives yeah how about that i'll block you with my mental Just power Alex, calm down everyone keeps going <laughs> Self, if not both. All right. What we can do then is we'll have we an episode where we do a little bit of both. Spill his blood. Yes. You guys, you guys will have to sit through a ten-minute video. Monkey knife fights. Us. Monkey knife fights. Slow mo. All the way. We gotta have. We could do some. Uh, oh. We could do some cool shit. Levitate knives at each other. Oh, I've done. Oh, that's that. easy. Yeah, it's. Come on, man. Pick up, pick up the dummies version. We'll figure it. Out. Your ceiling tiles are. Glorious victory oh, and dancing his innards. Absolutely. They don't even have to tell us to do that. You can't. Take your knife. Was that a Raz? 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 Who is that? It's actually an injection. He, that was a Benjamin Barker. He just Benjamin Barker. That was a Zydrate gun. Ben! Zydrate comes in a little Benjamin glass vial. Benjamin Blue Glass Vial? A little glass vial. A little glass vial goes into the gun like a battery. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Do a fight club episode? Razor equals a Motorola fuck. No, it's not. Oh, it is, oh yes, indeed, it's it is a Motorola. It is a Motorola. It's a Motorola. New level Verizon. of respect. <laughs> I'm glad that we have any respect from it's anyone right garbage. now. It's also garbage. Are you leaving this video up for prosperity? UNF. What is that prosperity. Mean? You guys are fucking censored great. <laughs> Tyler Durden playing GTA. What? Motorola POS. Well, yes, indeed. Durden. It's the Motorola POS you are, apparently. version 2.0. Yes, we're recording it. Make it happen. Internet? Like the last live feed. I think I'm falling in love with you yes, guys. Yes, yes. Bring Sparky over here because I that hope, dog is fucking I hope that you're, that you're a female because 
Sparky. Get ready to see the Get most ready. awesome dog on the face of the planet. I'll show it to you. Look at that. Look at that Sparky. I'm showing you. Too. Look you at that Sparky. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, she is a female. That's cool. That fucker's bit me before. Well, that's good that you're that female. I will kill Poppers. It. We actually call her Sparkers. Yeah, it's Sparkers. Who else is in the house with you? I oh, prefer my pugs. I dogs. fucking love pugs, dude. I used to have one. Fucking awesome. I have two gerbils. Get the. <laughs> two cats. Good job. A dog. I have an imaginary pet. My dog is a dog. Pugs are ugly. I had rats. They died. Pugs are cute. Wait, your, your rats died? No, not. I have gerbils. Oh, this, okay. this chick slash man said that I had rats that died. I'm sorry that your rats died, dude. I hate when animals die. Oh, pet mouse. See, we've got some stuff in common there. Nova Jane! Nah, man. I have three kitties, a guinea pig. Ah, see? Another another animal lover. Yeah. Pound it through the internet. I want... Pound no. It, I it. want a friggin... Complete. I want a hyena. I want a laughing hyena as a pet. Like, I want to raise it from birth so that it loves me. And I just want to fucking walk around with it on, like, a chain leash. Just knuckles my screen. like, what's up? Good job. I had a Lizzie. Hell yeah, hyenas. Hell yeah, hyenas. Hell yeah, hyenas. Oh, yeah. My, uh... My gerbils, I, like I wake up every morning with them escaped from their cage sitting tree on my bed. Tree frogs, dude. And a gecko. Oh, I love tree frogs. They're so little and I'm shit. So my aunt stepped on a tree frog once because it was in her shoe. Imagine that. Every time you look at your tree frogs, now imagine it being crushed underneath my aunt's foot. My rats used to escape. And eat everything. Yeah, they eat everything. I threw Ryan. Hyenas and Lion King were the best. Yeah, those are the fucking hyenas. Those things were evil as hell. And then the big guy fell in, the scar guy. And he fell in, they were like, we're gonna eat you. You're our king, but we don't give a One shit. One of them was Whoopi Goldberg. Eat really? Yeah. Yep. Well, but the other I, can, cool. I can just Whoopi end Goldberg it. Whoopi Goldberg was good. She was good as a hyena. Need some gamer tags up in here. Yeah. I'm Andrew Ryan. This is a simple and has, solution. Is a man not entitled to his own hyenas? <laughs> to the sweat of his hyena brow? As a kid, he used to play with the frogs. A man the chooses a slave obey. A hyena obey. Ha! <laughs> so guys, my name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Bioshock. My name is Alan Cake, and I'm a baker. My name my is name, Norman Rockwell. My name is Alan Wake, and I lose my flashlights. My name is Alan Lake, and I'm a recreation director at a camp. So about Team Fortress. My name is. I'm on fire. Hey guys, pork chop sandwiches. Pork chop sandwiches. Holy shit, everything's on fire. Get the fuck. Wait, can I advertise Microsoft? How <laughs> much you I thought you would ever be. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. My name is Alan Shake, and I make milkshakes. Would you kindly stop talking about Bioshock? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Heavy need medic. Heavy is a troll. -o -o -o. Red Warrior needs food badly. Oh my God, we sat through 100 levels of the original on Xbox Live. Healthy dishes. Oh, uh, um, look up Vindaloo. It's an Indian dish, if you like that. It's pretty healthy for you, and it's delicious. Vindaloo! And he uses rice. Um, uh, I need to go, guys. Yeah. We all do. Did any of you see the boob tube? Chicken Vindaloo. Yep. I'm a man of many foods, as you can see. Butter and chicken, nom nom. <laughs> Why is everyone so afraid of Alex? <laughs> yeah, dude, really. I know Alex is creepy. Your Shepherd's Pie. Shepherd's Pie. My dad loves Shepherd's Pie. Oh, wait, who, Shepherd's who's pie. afraid of Shepherd's Pie? Shepherd's Pie is where it be at, son. I mean, woman. <laughs> Alex is a scary bastard. Alex eats this. Okay, ready? Let's I'm almost. It. I'm. Look how. I'm a short guy, and I'm taller than Alex. I'm the littlest. Ryan. I'm the littlest. Most men are afraid of men. Why can't? Why don't you just kiss? Nico me? Belly. Why don't we ever just kiss anymore? Hey, hey Nico, do you want to go bowling with your cousin? They want to do the Oompa Loompa thing. Uh, no, I don't. I don't uh, know. For the sake of the internet, yep. you guys go for it. But right next to each other. Hold on. Uh, me and Vinny goes down, and you stay up. One second. And then when we get back One up, second. Down. One what second. Are we One second. One second. Shut up. Wait. Ready? Three. Shut up. We gotta. We gotta work on it. You go first. We. Me and you go first. I'll block them. Alright, good. Oh, what about the arms? Oh, yeah, what are you supposed to do? Uh, go down. You go down. I do go like that. Uh, I go like that. Yeah! Alright. Okay, ready? Hold on, hold on. Alright, come on, do this quick. Okay, ready? Yeah. 
Oh fuck! I oh, fucked up. Ah, fuck! Come on! Ah, we practiced so long. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is gonna become a gift. Three, 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 two, one. <laughs> this is the future of the internet. Now we need. Alex to death with now we need a fact that's stuck in a chocolate tube. <laughs> now do the stanky leg. <laughs> okay, who was that? My pen is here for five seconds and someone bends. That's what you get when you let your heart win. I can be your fat kid. It's what? What TV? What the fuck? Oh god. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Ballad of Gay Tony for a GTA 4. He is in charge of the camera. Alright, right, fellas slash ladies. Yeah, we we are going go. to go pick up Jessa from work. She loves her retail job. Alright, well, we'll see you all another time, but remember, uh, self defense video as well as yoga. I'm pretty sure we're going to double team it. And also, that, um, uh, yes, we are. We're going to do the meditation slash self defense. Also, wristbands, we will get them to you eventually, we swear. If you're good enough, On maybe, we'll, maybe we'll even put out the orders tonight. Yeah. Oh, and someone go look up those things. Yeah, someone go check all sure this stuff out for you. Because we're too lazy and we don't like spending gas money on stuff. So, we love you. Send us, actually, here. Here's something you guys can have fun with. Oh, Email us at everymanhybrid. Whoever emails me gets my shirt. <laughs> everymanhybrid at gmail.com. Send us a, <coughs> a list what? of books like House yeah, of Leaves man. and the like that you like that oh. suggest for us. Alright, we love you all. Take it easy. Oh. What's going on, hybrids? Today, me and Ev, wherever he is, 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 wherever he is are going to tell you about martial arts and a little bit of self-defense. This is actually a topic that he knows quite a bit about, being a martial arts teacher and all. Also, uh, at the end of our little thing that we got going on, a little episode, Jeff's going to give you a brief message, and then we'll wrap up, and you'll have an awesome, awesome episode today. So enjoy, guys. Follow us on this journey to martial arts kingdom. Hello! Ah! Welcome to Martial Arts Kingdom, aka my basement. Today, Evan's gonna tell you what's going down. So, Evan, have had it. I will. Alright, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys some simple self defense against an enemy. You got no weapons, just their bare hands and bare feet. Hands. God's weapons. So, I'm gonna show you guys some real easy ways to defend yourself against some street girl. And how not to hurt yourself while defending yourself. So I'm going to show you the basic fighting stance that you can stand in, uh, in when you're in a fight. Ha! One foot out in front, knees bend a little bit, hands up here, got my shoulders up just a little bit. But you want your hands above your chin, that's an important spot because that's a button that can knock you right out. And uh, here's a couple things you can do. You want me to do the punches now? Okay. Um, so, the proper way to punch is you want, let's say I'm going to do a jab. You just kind of want to throw it straight out from your face, straight out. And then back. Now see how my shoulder's still up a little bit above blocking my chin? Same deal, it protects it a little. Then straight back on a cross, you can punch kind of like this. Again, straight from your chin, straight out. Now see how my body twists a little bit when I punch? Boom, see how I go up on my toes and stuff? That means that you're using your body, kind of propelling your body into the punch, and that gives you a lot more power. So if anybody tries to fuck with you, a nice quick jab, a nice big, grip, nasty cross, and boom, and punch. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright, so defense. Uh, basically, Vinny is going to throw a couple punches at me, and I'm going to defend him. So, first of all, no fighting stance. So, uh, let's say he throws a straight punch to my face. Two main ways to get out of the way this. Either parry it out of the way, which was I move my hips to the side and slap the slam out of the way. Or slipping, which is just getting out of the way. So, the main idea of that is you want to move your hips and kind of get exactly. away from the punch. And uh, parrying is just slapping it while doing that. Now, with the parry, you don't want to go too soft because he'll just break right through. Do it soft. Oh, look, oh, right my through. Face. Nice. My face. So you left yourself defenseless, and you got a good knock in the face. Also, you don't want to go too hard because if you wind up and go, first of all, you give away a lot of time, and you give away what you're about to do. Like, ready? 
by the time he got to me, it was already at his chest. Oh my so god, my chest. Much also, the person can just fake uh, yeah, they a can punch, fake and then you swing right, your right. hand. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, oh. And he just come out my house. And now he's dead. Uh, another punch is a hook punch, and uh, that is he's going to go to the side of my head. So that's two main places that you'll be attacked at. So what I can do is if he throws this to the side, I can either duck underneath it like that, or bob and weave. We can do this. So, woo, like that. And what a bob and weave is, different than a duck. A duck is just like that. Yeah. But a bob and weave is if he throws this hand, I'm going to duck underneath and do it slow. I'm going to duck underneath and go towards it, so then I'm on this side of his body. And he doesn't have any weapons on this side, and he's not expecting to fight me on that side. So what you can do is after you bob and weave, you just kind of boom, boom, you know, you can hit him in, the, yep. in all the organs and in the face. Another way to get out of the way of a hooker, to block a hook, is to cover. And what you do for covering is kind of just pick up your arm like that so it covers your whole head. So he throws a punch at me, bam, the cover, just go right to, the, right to my head. You want me to raise your head? Bam, see that? It'll hit your arm instead of your face and you can take more blows to your arm. Um, Alright, so those are the main two punches that you can defend from. Now, kicks. If, let's say, the person that you're fighting is kicking you, which doesn't always happen, but sometimes uh, people do that. Uh, what you can do is that if they do a roundhouse kick, which is to your side, like you're just kind of like, like that. Uh, go ahead, do nice, nice and slow. Throw I suck at roundhouse kicks, bro. Can you just I do it? Show me one. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm not a kicker. Really? I'm not a kicker. All right, well, what you can do if they, say, if they throw one to the side of your leg is you can kind of pick up your leg and point your shin towards theirs. Now, that's going to hurt a lot. Because two shins clicking together is just two bones hitting onto each other, and it's uncomfortable. But it's better than having your knee broken or being like bashed in the leg, and I was gonna be like, oh, okay. Um, another one would be like if they were throwing a front kick. Some of the easiest ways to get out of the way of that is going like this. I'm out of the way. Okay. Also, you can just kind of step back like that. So you're just you just uh, double the length of where you are from them. What you can do after kicks is, let's say he does it, can you do a front kick? I saw kick, kick some more. Good, uh, perfect. Yeah, look at you. Got. Look at you. Do that again. You can step back like that and then swing in really fast. Because so I just put all my body weight forwards into what he was. And I eased him. Exactly. So when I kicked him, because the front kick is supposed to put as much force as possible into your target. So when I go and push, if I were to miss that, I would be here and his knee would be there. As if he's climbing a mountain with exactly. his hands up there. Oh. Or flying across the sea. To the magic martial arts kingdom. Anyway. Alright, so pretty easy ways. Just just see a kick coming and get out of the way. Or you can block it like that. Um, nice. Again, if they're kicking you to the nuts, a nice easy way to get out of the way of that is just kind of turn. So you can eat it on your leg or on your hip instead. Well, the hip ain't even really good to get yeah, out of Yeah, it's kind of try to avoid the hip at all costs. Alright. Alright guys, now we're going to do some basic weapon defense, starting with niggity knives. And I've got a deadly weapon right here. Are you, are you kidding me? What? Is that it? Really? My big knife! Oh, okay. That's better. <laughs> Let's do this. Cool. Good thing that came out of Averted nowhere, catastrophe. Yeah. I think we have a magic knife. We're going to do it. Alright, so, uh, here's a couple of things. possible. Weapon. Let's say you have no knife and some guy has a knife. That sucks. Exactly That's kind of like worst case scenario. The first rule of a knife fight is you don't talk about the knife fight. Do not get into a knife fight at all. If there is any and way that you can get the crap away from that person, do it. Because knife fights will suck and you will get cut and probably die. You probably won't win one. So, again, number one rule, if I see a guy, then don't do that. Okay, never no-scope somebody with him. It can work. It can work. You know, push, push old ladies in your way. Second rule, find something bigger than the knife. But again, you don't have that. Like a grizzly bear. This. So. Let's say he does something as simple as just tries to push it into my stomach. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the hell out of the way and get control of it. So if he does, if he does that again, ah, I want to get to the side and grab right about. Can you see where I'm grabbing? Him? Grab right about here. I forgot that you were left-handed. Yeah, um, grab right about right here, which is like the meat of his hand and also the back of his hand. Now, if you're able to grab that, which I mean sometimes you can't, but you get a little control of it and you get it out of the way if nothing else. But let's say you can do that. Bam. You get the hold of the, of the hand. Which is now what you can do is curl it up like this, and what I can do is simply, see how this hand is? Just like you're doing that, you can simply twist the hand this way and it'll snap the wrist. Do it fast. Now also, though he may not let go of this, or I may not be able to snap his wrist, once I get a hold of his hand and I've neutralized the danger of the knife, I can start destroying him with punches and kicks and headbutts and he's like biting his throat out. Stuff like that. Or maybe even getting into the eye. And because also, then, if you can't do that if you can't snap a wrist it still hurts like a mofo so he might actually just drop the knife yeah because that hurts if you do that hard enough it hurts really bad yeah okay. all right fellas so we gave you some uh, simple, simple knife defense which is you know run away 
We've got some simple self-defense with your fist against fist. And as you can see, Evan's a professional in this one because he works there. I was just the dummy, so please no YouTube hate for my terrible technique. Yep. And remember, guys, there's a lot more stuff. I, I mean, you know, we had to make this short, but... um. If you guys wanted to learn, I would highly suggest looking up any other kind of videos you can find of self-defense, like more lengthy ones. Even if you feel like watching. classes aren't actually that expensive most of the time. That's true. So they're a lot cheaper than the gym, and they get you a lot more out of it. Classes at my school, especially. But not sure I want to advertise that. All right, guys. In addition to the whole self-defense and martial arts, we also got a small response for yoga and meditation. Although I personally started attending, you know, seminars on meditation recently. We're not really experts in the field of yoga. Barely amateurs. Exactly. So instead of us wasting your time and doing, you know, half decent stretches for you guys and whatnot, like Mr. Uh, Downward Dog in jeans, we're gonna actually have a small contest for you guys. The best. Every man hybrid promotion, whether it be bulletin board at your local library or school or something, send a video or take a picture of it to the EMH Promos Gmail account, and we'll which is EMH Promos EMH Promos at, at gmail.com. Gmail we'll put it down at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. And we'll review the best ones, and you guys will win a personalized message from us, even though that's not that big of a deal. It's some sort of yoga prize package where you're going to throw together, whether it be a professional DVD series, material, something like that. Have fun with it, guys. Okay, uh, here are my ads for the Everyman Hybrid thing. I'll be hanging them out here. Uh, probably tomorrow night, because, let's face it, I'm kind of a slacker. Alright, just documenting this. What? Oh. What the? Okay, I'm going to post one of these up here in this uh, parking lot. People got cars for sale. I don't see why I can't post one of these up here on this thing. Let's set you down for a minute. Alright. It's good enough to advertise cars. I don't see why I can't advertise my uh, go-to guide for help on a budget. <laughs> no, hold on. Here's one of the favorite rafting spots here for the, the river here. I'll go ahead and post one up here as well, you know, because they're already all about the health. Might as well just go ahead and uh, there we go. There we go. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I've just been busy with school and whatnot, but 
everything's been really looking up for me lately, and I even made a friend or two, but yeah, just, I apologize if I don't update much lately, I'm just going to be busy, and just wanted to catch up, and I'll post some more artwork later, and I'll let you guys know how everything's been, okay? So... Ready? Gentlemen! Jeff's supposed to go. Welcome back! What's up, guys? Stop it. Oh, alright. If you have You're Netflix, excited. I think most of the seasons. No, it's just to uh, differentiate the everyman from the actual hybrid. No secret message there. Has your brother ridden Indigo? The bonus episodes in between seasons, like the Christmas specials. Doctor of what? Who. Oh, Doctor Who. Oh, I love that show. The, the British guy who time travels with the black lady, right? Yeah. Isn't that it? That's exactly. <laughs> it That's is all Tardis. Right. Precisely. <laughs> Your wife's new legal name is Targus. Targus. All right. So why am I turning the volume up? A bunch of ladies, actually. Yeah, we'll have a new hair. A bunch of ladies. Yeah. Wait. But then we'll have a new hair. Hold your briefs. Real oh, look at Jeff's hair, everyone. Let's point that out. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason we did a live Why, stream or a Ustream stream today was to show Jeff's hair. Mm. So. Holy. Uh, so he doesn't even look like you, man. Boggle. That's Jeff, yeah. <laughs> we swapped him out with someone else. We, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't think anyone would notice that he was gone. Yeah, I died, and actually, we swapped me out. That's what we did. actually his brother, Alex. Yeah, me too. Alex I liked it better the old way, too. So I. Me too. Yeah, yeah so did I. Yeah, me too, everyone. God. I liked it better the old way. So, fans, Thank hybrids, you, Trumpet. lovers, how's everything going? Kind of like Will Wheaton. Like Will Wheaton. Who should shave Vinny? <laughs> you hold me down and shave him. <laughs> no. Get him I, I would do it. Vinny went, looks tanner, babe. Went to a concert Might just be the lighter. With, with him. Got a slumber party. There's, there's a Mitchell star. Who's that? Jesse. Oh, no. Hey! Jesse! Hi! Jesse? Yeah, Mitzi stars Jesse. We got our first no, Are you sure that's, that's yes, positive? Jesse? When's the next video? We are uh, actually working on when would be the best time to make a, uh, a hiking video, right? Correct. Yeah. As um, you, we probably said it like weeks ago, but like we said, we wanted to do an in-depth actual content hiking video. And of course, between work, summer courses, and... Um, something X witty, something Xbox. witty, and Xbox. folk festivals. And that is why we have been delayed. Yes. Folk so festivals. as soon as um, folk festivals. So hopefully in around a week, week around. Yeah, because we heard a lot of people who were <laughs> <laughs> trees. <laughs> Actually, yes. no. The woods that we hike in are made of Legos. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's pretty intense. It'll be pretty so interesting. Cool. I'm craiging yoga instruction in the knolls. Wait, there will be Camping. no. There will it's be intense. no older women who are interested hey. in younger men in the woods. Oh man, cougars are dangerous. If you're just riding on your horse, cougars will come and pull you right off it. That's some intense shit. And so then that's why you throw a throwing knife breath. at them. Uh. Oh. Now it's cougar man, a gorilla in a Hawaiian shirt. I'm getting no, that's just me. I'm sorry. Oh no, the arcade game. Oh my oh, god, the arcade game is oh. incredible. Well, also, who's watch David out Lynch? for bears. Jesse, get the fuck out of here. Who is, uh, who's David Lynch? Uh, Evan got it. David Lynch? He's the guy who sings, isn't he? I don't know. And he's like, he's the guy who sings? I love you, Jesse. I'll kill you, Jesse. First, I'll tickle you, then, I'll kill you. I'll tickle your dead body. Oh, so uh, we've actually got a purpose for being on here tonight, and I think Jeff would like to reveal it. Winners of the contest, which we had a decent turnout, and... 47 million leagues under the sea. And we're not going to say last names and emails because, I mean, we love you guys, but, you know, there might be some but stalkers between you. we will say addresses, you. addresses and phone numbers. And social security numbers. So, but thanks. Jay and Tara, Silent you guys Bob. won. It wasn't really much to do, obviously, as 
your entries. What the tell hell everyone that else. Mean? No, I, no, I think no, 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 you, you need to stop the left from here with your mouth, my friend. You need to not say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Some people call it talk. Maybe I'm loud. Regardless, Jay and Tara, Jay with your Excel spreadsheet and Tara with your, you know, donation chart. You oh, guys, Evan, you're listening there. You guys won, and we'll be contacting you guys about the whole prize package <laughs> thing individually. But we kind of wanted to give everyone <laughs> the heads up, and another heads up: the wristbands. That's over and you made dead. Me cry. We had, yes, we have way too many. We have way too many than the original hundred, and I think we'll be pretty good if you guys contact us already. But from this <laughs> point on, we can't take any new messages just because there's a lot. Yeah. To um, go we through. ordered the wristbands about a week and a half ago. A little late, but yeah. Yeah, and I put, I put some rush order on it, so it should be here soon. And then from that point on, we'll get them out to you guys. So hopefully, within the next three months to 25 years, you'll get them. So good job. Who knows, we may all be dead by then, oh. you may be dead by then, the but we'll get to your we're house. We're not going to tell you, but it's going to be a surprise. And by that I mean it's going to be a purple Everyman hybrid wristband. Oh, the favorite books. I actually did make that list, but like we said, with work and school and all, you know, summer courses and all that, we really, I haven't been able to do anything of substance with that. But, uh, who knows, maybe, like, I don't think it's enough to dedicate a whole health video towards because it's, Wait, to what? no one else is going to be interested oh, when well. they told us all their favorite books and stuff. There but are no kittens on the wrist. Maybe I'll do I'm some sorry. newsletter to everyone who contacts yeah, me Yeah, it's purple. It'll clash with all my clothes. That's the spirit. Even I... though your font is purple. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not. It's magenta. Okay. Nah, that's purple. Yeah. yeah. Not for me. Yeah, what if someone puts a You Only take back you what we said and you will win the contest. You win both their prizes. Only if you put mittens on those kittens. Mitten kittens. Green man save your life, Are bro. You kitten? A purple kitten? I want a purple kitten. You know what? That sounds like a better idea. I'm going to cancel the order on the wristbands and everyone will be getting an everyman hybrid purple kitten. You can just make them not breathe long enough. Product placement. Like so, Just so, I don't like drinking pain. soda because of the sugar. So, with the whole aspartame <laughs> thing, I'm cancer. banking on in they're 10 really years, on. they'll find a cure for cancer, oh, so I'll be okay. Hold on. Someone is allergic to kittens, so we'll shave it for you before you send it. You are really removed. Thanks, bro. No, you shut up. No problem. You shut up, Alpha. Tim. That's not even a word. Yeah, no, that's totally a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figure it out. Read it out. Read, read it out. Do an air with your mouth. I forgot what he said before. He said molesting. Molesting. <laughs> yeah, you and know. Suddenly, the every, every man received ten cases of Dr Pepper. The hair will grow back stronger. <laughs> and golden. And and it will have Solid. no. It'll have no allergens more. in it. Dragon oh, Ball I hate you all, but I love you. Uh, was there anything else that we were going to talk about? Hi. Hey. hey. Probably getting some wicked background noise. Stop touching me! Never. Oh, everyone, this is Jesslyn. Hi! They know her. Anyone who doesn't know her, she's Jesslyn. I'm Jesslyn. She's Jesslyn. I'm John Hunt! Oh, you see this? Read this. Huh. Jesslyn. It's Jesslyn. It's. It's. It's Jeff Olin. Oh, there you go. Hi, Jesse. Spell Justin for us. It is spelled. No, that's not my name. Justice. No. Norman Jaden. <laughs> it's spelled Jaden. That's my name. It's spelled Jaden Justice. That's a poor name. Hey. What does that mean? You're welcome. Thank you. I like my name too. I don't. I made it. I did. I ate it. What does that mean? Alright, so are there any questions? This is the segment of the show where we usually do a little bit of Q&A with the viewers. I was going to say fans, but they're not really fans. Nobody really likes us. Nobody likes us. Oh, stop. This is about to turn. Oh, I'm so confused. Hold on. Okay, we'll start up at the top. 
So did you guys hear someone out to the corner? Sorry. Why did you guys? cut your hair? Um, I know. Coordinates. Jeff. I like everyone except Josh. Jeff. I love Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Alright, the people. We actually looked up about this because it is kind of weird. And she, this person, I mean, she lives relatively close to us. It could be some sort of elaborate, elaborate prank between mutual friends in the area. I don't know. We don't... It, cool. We saw, we saw weird. the video too, by the way, uh, Lance. And it it's weird, we'll admit that, and it's kind of cool, but um, we're not really going to get involved with this can you see the words girl. Um, there's no reason to. Everything seems to be okay, so we're just going to kind of Yeah, I mean, that. like I said, it, it was weird. Kind of creepy that it involved us directly with the pictures, but didn't affect us. It, no one hurt anyone we knew, so we're not going to worry about um, it. Next question. Why, Jeff? Why did you cut your hair? <sighs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. That's his answer. I like everyone except Jeff. That's Jesse. That's Jesse. What, what part north. of NJ are you guys from? Central, north, or south? Central. 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 Thank you for understanding that there is, is a central. central Jersey, yeah. You guys should meet up with her. No thank you. She seems like a crazy pants. No comment. I would like to hear Evan's take on the can you see the words. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. He He's gone. Away. Knife defense. We actually... Bless you. Thank you. The editing... Thank you. The editing between the two different shots, that's what led to the crappy, crappy effect, I think, right? With the zoom in? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh my god. I wasn't paying attention. The self defense video, how it was all. Wait, oh, was, yeah, was we don't like know what? why it was zoomed like that. The zoom in. Oh, and the yeah. Off. Sorry about that. I don't know. He's why behind is he so damn there. cute? I don't know. I why know. Is he so I just want to punch her cheeks. Oh yeah, we, we got a hold of another video camera, so we're pretty happy about that. We're glad that you guys kind of enjoyed it. It was my first time ever editing with multicam, so I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. He sucked. It. Shut up. Uh, that pinball machine... He, he wanted to edit, he take that editing he reins for me for that one. Yeah. Okay. What? 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 Well, I'm just a drink, bro. Go for it. This is a Flash 1976 pinball machine. And we've also got the Police Academy trainer. Ah! Has anybody asked what yet? Anyone? Uh, so is Justin going to be future intro videos? Yeah, whenever she we, we can find uses for her. We'll when I'm useful. In. Whenever Jeff wiggles her in. Oh, what I see what you did there. Save you the universe. Your children watching. Evan, people want to know why you walk around the circle. Oh, I'm just checking something. Jesse, I love he's you. He's checking something. <laughs> I don't know, he said he's getting something to drink. Someone get Evan back on his leash. Yep. I'm on it. Get you back on your leash. <laughs> Go sit down, Jeff. Yes. Got him back on his leash. Your adoring fans are worrying about you, apparently. Yeah, someone said you were cute, Evan. They said, why is he so adorable? That's <laughs> oh no! Are you guys goons? Yes. Evan, he's gone again. Goons? Evan just left again. He's <laughs> being Evan. Evan, what do you think about that words girl? Evan. The club is the thing that locks your stamina, right? It's that club that you go, and then. And then the life alert commercial comes on right after it. What was that? What? What do you think about that words girl? She's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we've had it. Uh, Evan says Straight that. Straight from the source. Yep. I haven't seen her. Har har. Could anybody? Oh no, it's not even worth asking. I don't think this is the kind of fan base that would watch that. No. No. Oh. <laughs> I love you too, thanks. It's she's hot, Evan. He moves around too much. Eh, what can he do? He's Evan. Love it. Who is this? I don't know who you are. That's Jesse. No, What's that's not that? Jesse. Oh, oh, hurt him. That. Surf619. We do love you. He and or she. Uh, so probably asked this before, but I didn't hear it, but... 
Um, we'll answer Trumpet Face first because while you initiated your question, they just snuck it in there. Um, so Cold you're not going to investigate the whole thing further. There's really no reason to. It's just feeding into whoever's making this big joke up, so we're just not even going to give them the time of day. And Jeff can take over what made you guys decide to start a fitness ball. Something to do. <laughs> something yeah. to do with it's school. It's something we kind of always wanted to get off the ground. It was just something that seemed fun. And it gives everyone like a, an every, man, basically I, every I man you. high. I hate you. <laughs> it gives everyone kind of a, a, a lousy way to see what we do and how to do stuff yourself a little bit from people who are amateurs, just like you guys. Someone who's not... Us hugely buff and knows exactly what they're talking about. Like me. Because why would you want that? Not me. Do you guys still have the cute birthday card? Maybe. I think it's it somewhere. is over there. I think it is over there. Alright, so investigate the box thing further. Like, we, we got that. We touched that one. Start fitness series, we got that one. What am I doing? So... <laughs> Which we decided it wasn't a birthday card after we saw, you know, whatever. Oh no! Uh, well, the surprise. Box. Jeff's brother is playing Limbo, and all it is Limbo. All we the recommend sound it. Is, it's weird. Yeah, the sound is just wind, and that's it. You guys still just using flip cams? Yes, we are. Flip cams all the way. And guess what? Every man we just received three boxes of flip cams for that plug-in. Every time we say flip cam, I get a quarter. We get twenty-three flip cams. <laughs> grab me a drink while he's at it. <laughs> sure. Then he stole my joke. I didn't steal it, I, I retooled it and used it and made it funnier. And about the inter radio interview, that'd be cool. I didn't hear about that until now, Wait, so happened? thanks. Apparently Marble Hornets are getting a behind the scenes type interview. Uh -huh. but oh, really? With radio, but yeah, that'd be cool to look forward to. But Oh, we got a, up here. I just jumped in when the Q&A started, so you may have already answered, but do you have a time frame for the next Someone video? did ask this, but you we'll, just joined. We'll it's, reiterate. Like we said, hopefully a week, week and a half turnaround, just because work schedules and waiting School for a sunny that, day. Yeah. Well, n nice enough day that's not 101 degrees outside. Yeah, so laundry uh, again, Jeff's brother Alex is over there playing Limbo, Limbo which is not, the only sound effects are just wind. And it's that. That's me. And there's Limbo. Uh, are you sure that Evan is just going to drink whatever? Well, that's actually my bathroom as well. And the door is shut, so I'm not going to go investigate that one. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Alright. Can I, can I have my sketchbook? Yeah. Back? See, now you wish you didn't ask. That's an awesome TV. Oh, thank okay. you. It's a uh, projector. projector that runs in HD. Yep. It is an HD projector. College degree in health science yeah. or nutrition? No. And he was sold by <laughs> gypsies. I will That'd be interesting to pursue, though, Mr. Machine, but... That'd be interesting to pursue, Isaac Cole. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna go draw this now. Okay. Go for it, babe. Alright, Justin's leaving, so now we can have... I have talk. to go draw the picture for my art class! Guys, I went out and bought House of Leaves. <laughs> Bye! He finally, he's finally getting onto the train. The coal train! Nice. Justin, leave. Cutie. Bye, Justin. Hey, I ordered another copy of... Oh, nice! Justin is my new favorite co-host. No, she's not. Don't say that. Isaac Cole. Coal, coal train! train. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you are over moved. Jesse, stop sending us URLs. We can't see them. Oh, me, me a veggie oh, burger. Oh, I love some veggie burgers. Get the uh, chipotle black bean. I'm serious. <laughs> no. They're delicious. No, you'll be riding thunder all night. No, you're not. Reach. Maybe I'll start reading that The again. Navison record did not first appear as it does Record. today. Nearly seven years ago, what surfaced was the five and a half minute hallway. A five and a half minute optical illusion barely exceeding the abilities of NYU film student graduate. The problem, of course, was... Guys, this I'm one says it's boring. I'm gonna read the whole House of Leaves to you while we're sitting here. <laughs> Mark Z. Danielowski. House of Leaves by... Danielowski. I'd listen, see? 
not boring, just unconventional. Yeah, it's... The first 20 pages are sort of boring. Shut up, Vinny. This would be a nice time for audio problems. <laughs> 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 right. Vinny doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, th whoever this surf person is... Or... Yeah, sure. So, that was a very, very beautiful sounding statement, Lance. Lance. Alanzia. It's really disappointing because it ceases to tell any kind of story right when it starts to See, be I think you missed the point entirely if that's what you believe. Still love you. I want to see who this person is. Because they're very much trolling me right now. I will see who you are. And I will send you a wristband. Of justice. I love that floor. Wait, can you guys actually see us? Uh, I like that shirt, Isaac. I really do. No, I can't see you. How do we see you? How would that even be humanly possible? No, he's co-hosting right now. All these people see him too. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. What? Are you just making stuff up? Jeff, I hate you. No, we cannot actually see you. Oh, snap. <laughs> Wait. Soon they shall be on my Yes, eyes. this video is being recorded. Where's it at? Quofan, you made me really have to, really have to hold back a joke. It disappeared. I'm back. What what item would you bring if you were stuck with our good friend? Twenty dollar bill. <laughs> I would bring the tw twenty dollars that I owe him. <laughs> Damn it. So then he get off my back. There we are, masters. Think about it. When you leave the house without your cell phone and or other BlackBerry and iPhone and iPod, don't you have that weird feeling in the pity of your heart? Hey, you're forgetting something very Gentlemen, important. Jess is kind of weird, and I love her for it. I, I think I'm going to give her this little doohickey. Just this weird little necklace. Say no. I think it's kind of cool. It's like Middle Eastern looking-ish, I think. Do not fear me, Gypsy. I'm hypnotizing you all right now. You will forever watch our Everyman Hybrid series. You will tell all your friends. That boy needs a violin, violin. Therapy. I'm gonna still just speak, speak, you see. Alright, so are there any further questions? Gentlemen, lady, you still there? Anyone? Because I think that our chat might have just crapped out. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Their tiny legs doing something. Whatever sound webcams do with their lenses once they... Oh, oh no. Do the song. Evan owes me $20. So this weapon involved? I respect. Nice Cthulhu necklace. Oh god, I can't even... Um, Isaac Cole, we went over this, I think, earlier yeah, earlier in the stream. Um, we did check out on it. We saw this video that someone gave us, posted us, about finding the box in the coordinates because we said we weren't going to waste our time with it. Um, What's up, people? We pretty much just shrugged it off as a joke. We're not going to feed into this anymore, so whatever. Uh, it is hot as balls, by the way. Will you marry me? Who are you? Are you female? Are you a female? Because if you're female, I'll marry you. And Jeff will marry you and Evan will marry you. Polygamy. I'm sure she'd rather have a wristband. Oh god, where did you come from? I, said, I okay. thought you... Everyone, Jeff's brother, who I thought was Jeff for about 25 seconds. How many people are in here? 47 million. There's 42. 
Yeah? What'd you guys Very get up well. to? I know we got up to like 115 here. It's kind of ridiculous. What's the strangest thing you guys have had while filming? Well, probably when we first started using the flip, we um, put it into what we're using. I guess Movie Maker, whatever it's called. And none of the video files worked. It just froze up and was like, ging, 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 well, 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 well. that was pretty much the weirdest thing. How does someone get so handsome? I know you're talking to Alex, Jeff's brother over here. Jersey's an oven. Yeah, it is. Every stop and get him time to catch up. Oh, God. Hold on. Stop. Everyone stop. Stop, stop, stop. Halo. Yes, let's do Halo. You kind of look like Dante without your glasses. Dante, the one who wrote his Inferno, or... Because... I'm reading that right now. You look tired, Vince. Been sleeping well? No. I just recently got a full-time job where I wake up at 6 in the morning every day and I don't go to bed until about 3 in the morning all day every day mm. oh there's more oh well then I'll still marry you as long as it's a straight male to male relationship I will I will <laughs> certainly marry you no problem clearly he cut his hair so you couldn't tell him apart well, yeah, like we said, we're, we're going to switch Jeff out <laughs> with, with Alex, so that way you can't even tell them apart, and no one will even miss Jeff that much, except for Jesslyn. Jeff should marry Evan. <laughs> the babies. The beautiful. Dante. <laughs> oh, dear God, I'm so sorry. Bro, yeah, Hicks, that works for me. Jeff should marry Evan. What about human-robot relationships? All right. As it stands right now, I think there's no way that a man and a robot could love each other so much. Unless it's an iPad. Unless it's a Blackberry. Exit. Okay, hold on. Fuck, Alex. Lance just reminded me of something by saying the word the Pope. Reminded me of my days when I used to play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Me and my friend would play two-player, and he'd spawn what we call the Pope Mobile, and me and him would have relations, then he would drive me around while I shot people down in the Pope Mobile. It was a cool story. Bro. I support the struggle of robot sexuals. I do too, but it's, ma it's ruined a lot of human-to-human -human marriages. I mean, people on Facebook all day, doing their Facebook cyber ring, whatever they do. <laughs> just, like the just like the actual Pope. Oh yeah, that's it. Except the actual Pope only does it with people who are 16 and under. Yeah. Yeah, like you. <laughs> oh, the next video shall be for explaining hiking. We hiking about a week. We've got a, a bunch of people who were requesting, you know, requesting and trolling put together that we do an actual hiking um, video with tips because, like, we watched ten minutes of nothingness. That was kind of just showing that we were back to normal. Um, but since we got so much response that they wanted it, we're going to give you guys a little bit of hiking tips. <laughs> Wait, is Evan still taking a dump? I think Evan is lost. Everyone is always insanely worried. I know, that's a little bit weird. Evan is a full-grown... Robo-sexual. Ro <laughs> Robo-sexual. <laughs> I know, I thought the video was kind of cool just to see us a little bit, even though I don't think we're that cool, but still. Camping video. Uh, we have a few clips that me and Evan took because we went camping. That's not Evan. Yo. Whatever. Wherever he is. Me and him took a couple uh, clips. We were quadding and camping and tent pitching, tent pitching and quadding. looking at quarries and all that cool stuff. Hiking and shooting guns. So maybe one day we'll put a little something together, throw an intro on that, and then give you guys some clips. But Isn't that where we uh, went near? Picking near the Delaware Water Gap. Oh, I go up there all the time. I'm in the Poconos every weekend during the uh, winter. We've got a house up there we rent every year. And I snowboard every weekend pretty much two days in a row. So I'm always up near there. All day or day. <laughs> I've got Final Cut Pro. Now if only I had a Mac. Look Pro. They're so useful. Snowboard video. 
We yes. don't get snow this time of year. Yes. Yes, we do. We can go to Canada for you guys. Or Switzerland. <laughs> how did that happen? Cole, Isaac, okay. Isaac Cole, how did that happen? He was playing it last night, StarCraft. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I'm getting StarCraft 2 like no other. I've been waiting 10 years for that. And so is Jersey a decent place to live? A lot of people bag on Jersey because it's crowded and the people up here are kind of... Snooky. Yeah. No, not really. Yeah, not really. We're not Look really good. Look at me. I'm not Italian at all. But, um... It's nice up here because you've got the beach. If you live in, like, central Jersey, you've got the beach. That's 45 minutes away. You've got snowboarding, skiing. That's yeah, an hour and a half away. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, what kind of interaction? We've got another question. It says, what kind of interaction as the Everyman Hyper Team have, the, have you had with the Can You See the Words blog? Um, we've explained this before. The blog we looked at, we saw the second half of the, the coordinates, and we think it's a joke or it's, I don't know, but we're just not getting involved because... It's definitely weird, but we live near the girl, so it could be some mutual friend yeah, between us. So we're just kind of playing it low-key. There's no reason to feed into it or anything. Snooki isn't... I know, half the people in that show are not even from Jersey. Ask Snooki. Oh, we've got a... We've got a... question here. From... Lance. It says, Oh, hey, Vinny. Some EH fans on another board was wondering... What weird elementary school dream, that weird elementary school you dreamed you had, was that a real one? Where you're running through the woods with this old elementary school? Uh, guys, we're not, like we said from, like the, the very early videos. Right. We, although like the whole, you know, Dan in a slender suit, maybe in a couple of scenes, that was obviously. Wait, what are we talking about? Our right? insert, but when you, the dream, the first touch upon a dream, mm -hmm. but we were honest with you like you oh, know yeah. us everything else everything else but those save those few scenes was real so that was a real dream yeah and like we said what i was going to get at before what we said before is we're not going to go through each and every scene because we're not going to waste every everyone's time with that uh, um if you want us to pull out the old slender suit you can go and buy a pair of pantyhose because that's all we use for for dan our dude <laughs> um what's the best indoor exercise to help lose weight and fat huh starvation <laughs> Don't listen to Alex, he's not an Everman hybrid, he's not trained like we are. <laughs> he's young. Like we aren't. Aren't. Um, I would say if you have a healthy diet, definitely cardio. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Cardio would help. If you're if you're looking to lose weight, then that's what you would, that, what you should do. If you're looking to build muscle along with that, I would do some some weights and all that other good stuff, endurance and stuff. Uh ever read hold on. We're not catching up here. What's the best in, uh, also if you guys seen Slender Nation forms? Oh yeah? That's kind of cool. Ever read John Dies at the End because it's awesome? I no, I'm gonna check now that out. Yeah. You guys keep saying You should have it. Dan in one of those live casts. I would, but right now he's up in some kind of campground, campground hunting or setting up his hunting stands. Fine, but you guys are... Seriously, Isaac, all it is is a pair of pantyhose. Justin, let me see that. That's so awesome. Does swimming count as cardio? Yes, it does. Dance I'd love parties. to see this one too. What? Let me see that. Yep, pretty much. Anything that raises... Sure, hold on. Anything that raises your heart rate counts as cardio, yes. Just do something intensely. That's all I have. Nice. That's so cool. You want to show it to the... Creepy. Does anyone want to see my picture? No. It's not done yet. I have to do shading. I'll show you. <laughs> it's a balloon man giving a balloon to a child. Pig. Pig child. He has a pig face. He has a balloon head. I remember... Carmel dancing. Carmel dancing? What the, that? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> we start making fun of him. Last night? Carmel dancing. What's Carmel dancing? What does that mean? What is that word? 
Oh, wait. I still don't get Is it. Is that the, the gift? That the, that's fucked up, guys. I still don't know what they're talking about. Let's see Jess's picture. Are you an art major, Jesslyn? No, no, I'm not that... I'm just learning now. Yes, yes, I'm yes! I'm not really that good. Just, <laughs> Justin. Oh, God. Just the slender balloon man. Dot, dot, dot. That's awfully tall and skinny balloon man. One sec. <laughs> Read. <laughs> what is what this? Dude, that's no. Like I don't. Is, I don't know who that guy is. But whatever. I think he's cute. No, no, no. I that word. That phrase. Because we were yelling at. We were calling Evan that just when we were on Team Fortress. Remember? No. I don't remember anything. URL is removed. <laughs> She's gone. We'll ask her later. Just let me make sure up. Stop with the URL removed. What? Because they're trying to post links. I know, but what is Carnival Dancing? Like, explain it to me. I don't... It, I think it's in a guy's account. I don't know. I don't know. It's funny though, I remember. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh! Is it the head thing? Thingy? Yeah, the head thing. Okay. Okay, gentlemen. Mr. Nevinson has drawn a bomb going off. Let me see this. No, I want to read my no, favorite no, passage. No, ever come on. Ready? Check. Check it. We're gonna be here for like 15 minutes. Check it. Think we're ready? Wrap it up. Hold on. Oh, we're gonna wrap it up after I say this. Gentlemen. Hmm. The what? scout's mother is having an affair with the spy. The spy's mother is having an affair with the scout. What makes me a good um, dang, 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 I can't find it. No. Get okay, ready. Though even here, just that one <laughs> word, aside, <laughs> makes me shudder. For what is ever really just put aside, and you'll carry on it, eat, Wait, drink, be merry, and most of the time, you'll sleep well. Then again, there's a good chance you won't. I won't no scope you with my knife. Gerardi. I love that. Thank you. You must be a spy of love. Spy pound. Yeah. Nope. Always watch. Always watch. Why is that? Full. Why would? Why does that mean I'm only, only ten pages in because the book? Because you read about fifteen seconds of it and then bail. Oh, I just wanted to read that fifteen-second passage. <laughs> Five and a half second passes. <laughs> Five and a half minute hallway. Um, alright guys, well, it's almost nine we, here. <laughs> we gotta go to bed. No, we're probably gonna go to the dying days of Hoagie Fest, another product plug. 400 cases of Hoagies is what our... Just Oh, nice, uh, nice refreshing glass of scorpion. <laughs> I'll have a nice refreshing glass of scorpion. <laughs> Firehose stream torrent. Oh, by the way, everyone, another another selfless plug for one of our not sponsors. Alan Wake downloadable content comes out July twenty seventh. My name's Alan Wake. And they're not our sponsor, but I would totally buy it if I were you because I'm getting it and I want someone to talk to it about. And enjoy Dr Pepper. Oh, I keep forgetting that people are talking and we got to scroll down. You did the Spencer Pyro here. Grab, Grab and peel. Bro. Love your dance too. Hell yeah. Ask Alex if Limbo is worth the money. I ever tell you guys the time me and Keek went down to Savannah and went to the strip club? Actually, Limbo's my game and heck yes is worth the money. It's worth more money. Heck yes we pay Left 4 Dead too. I don't know what the signal is. If only we had it. Oh, I know what the signal is. Never mind. Is that the Yeah, that's the, I was took it totally out of context. Yeah, the yeah, writer would be nice. more? You guys are such X pros. What is that? Alien mean? Swarm. That's the thing we just downloaded. Yes. What is X X pros? Someone tell me. Sergeant Wolf. I don't know how I feel about that. Alien Swarm yet. is pretty good for a free game. It lags like I haven't tits played now. it yet, but I appreciate that they give us hats. I didn't get my hat. Because you're a hatless Irishman. Oh, really? Fuck you. I got the tower of hats. Did you really? Yeah, uh, I got the tower of hats. Apparently, there's going hat. to be a third Alan Wake downloadable content oh. episode now, too. See, now I'm very impressed that they're actually going ahead with the story instead of doing a prequel or or some stupid side story that actually takes place during the game. I like the fact that they're bringing up what happens after the story. I actually have the clicker they used in the game. No name and no 
Oh, Xbox fans. Hey, hey, hey. I've got myself a beautiful PS3, which I play all the time. That and sucks. A, and a Wii, which loves to collect dust. Norman Jade. Except, whoa, guys. I almost cried last night when I found... Well, I did cry. For, oh, for many hours. Yes. GoldenEye 007 is being remade for the Wii. Fuck the Wii. GoldenEye. <laughs> I love GoldenEye. GoldenEye. The, the best game ever on a console. Ever. Shooter. Oh, Shooter. Ever. Ever. It's with Daniel Handler. Wait, what? Daniel Handler? It's with Dan's who, hand. That's the guy who wrote Series of Unfortunate Events. Hell yeah, there we go. There's someone who's excited. Perfect Dark. Okay, Perfect Dark came out after Goldeneye, so of course it's going to be better than Goldeneye. But Goldeneye is still my childhood. Super Metroid. Oh, no, but I have Super Metroid for my phone. Just not for my <laughs> thing. Or Daniel or something. I'm confused. Hold on. Oh, he's talking oh, about... Oh, Daniel Craig. Craig. Daniel, Daniel Craig, yeah, I know. Just no. What about Dead Rising 2? Yeah, Dead Rising 2 is where it's at. But... Dead Ringer. Gold and I. Metroid's future really, in no, there. Every game company out there should really stop and just think of a, a, a sequel, no, a prequel to Dr. Mario. No, no. Better <laughs> better game. House of Leaves. You just run for five and a half minutes down the hallway. Game over. And it's four million Microsoft Achievement points. unlocked. Just saying. And the achievement's worth ten points. <laughs> Thank you. You you can totally copyright that. I'm going to grab a drink. Chicka chicka. Hey, look! It's like we're looking into a mirror between us. Yeah, people say we either look exactly alike or uh, completely opposites. different. Is that what you're saying, Justin? I'm missing what? I'm seeing Daniel buy When you're apart, I buy that game. When you're apart, water. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. About that. My my basement goes in and around. Like to, a circle. It has a fridge on the other side of the bathroom. Okay, that still doesn't sound good, but whatever. You look exactly alike and completely different. That was the paradox is personified. Oh, Isaac Cole, if any of us could dance at all, we would totally do the dance episode. But... Dr. Pepper. No, this is Diet Dr. Pepper. It makes it no, 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 super no. healthy. Someone said that the stuff in there that's used for sweetener is it kills you. It's instantly turned into fat. Oh. And is not just like sugar. We wouldn't want a dance episode if you could dance. Oh, well, in that case, we've taken dance for 22 years. Yeah, that's just us. Too bad we're all, you know, under 20. Just us singing. Yeah, there was water back there. Ah, my water. Oh, there you go. Scott, Scott, Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim, yes. Let's cut the whole group. No, no. Yeah, fat instead of digest. And that's HFCs. HFCs. I eat them as a snack. What Are last? You guys Mario Gizzle. But not when you're together. When you're there. Fruit test, hi Keith. Oh, corn syrup's good. Jeff, you need your hair back. I know, Jesse. Thank you. We spent about two hours a couple nights oh, ago Jesse. just talking about how how unattractive I am without my hair. Thank you. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, I love you. I, I saw we by Jeff anyway. <laughs> no, What's we that got. Supposed to mean? We got, uh. Oh, can you see him? Eco gnome, eco, eco gnome. Oh, you can see his face, his loving face. Eco gnome. Confused. Let's Jeff get PayPal wig. account set up to buy Jeff an epic wig. Yes. That's how much they need it. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. Otherwise, people might confuse you with a sublime fan. Douchebag. Jeff, say. It's a powdered wig. <laughs> or a wig collection. A wig need. Give Thanks, him a shower Jesse. of wigs. Just like in, um. Marge Simpson hair. Yep.
would agree with that. Or the dead of winter. As long as it's summertime and the living is easy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get going. We're going to kick it out of here. But um, We love you all. Remember, the week, week and a half for our next one. Yeah, for our hiking check. We'll Maybe probably we keep a couple messages up, like Twitter, as usual. And congratulations to Jay and Tara on winning once again. We kind of didn't make a big deal about that, but we'll be getting oh, yeah, in contact with great. you. Great. So, well enjoy done. what you guys did. And thank you very much. We will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Later. Later. Hi. 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 We were just watching Miley and me. <laughs> Miley and me. <laughs> Marley and me. We went and we got twists. Yeah, we got we got some wawa. Frozen, frozen ice cream. Hi. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Going on hybrids. Um, the other day we tried to, like we told you, film the hiking video with the tips and stuff, and something weird, to say the least, happened. Um, and at the time I didn't think any of, anything of it, but the night before, someone spammed me with videos of basically animals dead, mangled in bags. And we're just gonna show you guys. Just we're gonna show you what we got, and see if you guys can think anything of it. Um, all right. Okay. All right, hybrids. Here we are out in the woods because we're gonna do some uh, hiking tips for you guys. Because you were all complaining and pissing and moaning that we didn't give you any tips. We mean requesting. That's you were requesting what I tips. Meant to is say. All. We're sorry. So, uh, so we're gonna give you some good tips in the good old outdoors. Come along on this journey. God of War. Come. Mm. Guys, some important tips that we got here with our mannequin Evan is the first thing is you're gonna need some tools, um, whether it be cutting tools, digging tools, something. You never know what you need. A little ridiculous need. in this circumstance, oh, yeah. but it gets the job done. <laughs> Whatever. Also, you're gonna need preferably a long sleeve shirt to keep out bugs and ticks and all that but nasty I mean, stuff. It, but it's my hot skin out. Is hard yeah, as but leather, it's but it's so. really hot right now. So well, nice and muggy Jesus out. Suffice, this should be more like mine, unripped. But we do have one thing oh, in I common, and right. Bro. We've got boots. Big old sexy boots. And the boots. boots are what are what needed. And also you might want to do some long socks just for a little extra layer of protection there. That's all we got. <laughs> I just walked into it. Watch <laughs> it. <laughs> Alright guys, well we had a pretty good time hiking and giving you some real hiking tips because you guys moaned about it all day. But um, we got a little bit of rain on, but what can you do? You gotta be prepared. Yep. Now uh um, inevitable. But I figured that that just about wraps it up, so we're gonna head back to the car, which is also another good thing for you guys to bring, because you don't want to walk. And remember where it is, because if you forget where it is, you're pretty friggin' friggin'. Yeah. You guys hear Did that? You hear that? <laughs> Dude. Evan. Evan. Ah, fuck. Dude. Do you have your knife? Give me your knife. Here. What, that? what is this? Uh, what the <laughs> fuck is this?
Evan, you alright, man? Later that night, uh, Jeff called us, and after talking to his, his brother, we found out that he called his parents and his family, and he basically just said, what did he say? He said he was looking for something. He said he was going to look for something and goodbye. Um, he found that kind of weird, so we tried to give Jessen a call, and she just didn't answer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and talk to his family and see if we can't get anything, because we're kind of all freaking out here. We want to be... I'll get everyone together and talk about this. Um, on another note, me and Evan both have little mini cameras now, and we're just going to kind of document more or less just basically to have an outlet to get all this out to talk to someone about whatever's going down.